Yo. How y'all doing? Jesus Christ, a lot of you subbed again already. Thank you so much, gang. Thank you for the hype train. You're all very welcome to the stream. Hope everyone's having a good week. How are how are y'all keeping? So will you simulcast? Like, no, no, I'm I'm good. I'm just just chilling. It's a great week. I do you, you my walls. I watched the Truman Show today. Knock knock. Hey, you, you hear this? Hello there. Someone's at the door. It's scary. <laughs> I know you're in there. I'm not asking anymore. <laughs> What's the Truman Show? D dude, you gotta like watch a movie. Oh my god. You gotta see that. Alright. Some, some like homework assignment. It's like the, the best Jim Carrey movie that he's ever done. And like really ahead of its time. Sing along, have a good time. Sheep, thank you for the 5,000 bits. I really gotta lower the alert sound, but kind of becoming a joke at this point. <laughs> it's so fucking loud. No, oh, hang on, it's gonna mute for a moment. Just let me adjust the audio. There we go, that should be a bit better. It's season at best, not gonna lie. Um, You know, COVID times have affected everyone's taste buds differently. That's okay. Um, still glad to have you here. I'm sorry, Dad. What's your favorite sushi again? Mods ban that man. <laughs> Let's get him. Get him gone. <laughs> get him. Oh, don't actually. Ah. King Pelican, thank you for a thousand bits. Best Jim Carrey movie ahead of its time. He's talking about Sonic. <laughs> Sonic is pretty good. Sonic is pretty good. That, that's just like a fun Jim Carrey movie for me. I really don't care that much about Sonic, but Jim Carrey's in it. Now, the Truman Show. If you've never seen it, somehow, uh, is a movie starring Jim Carrey where he is being filmed everywhere and everyone in his world is an actor, but he does not know that. And he is broadcast live 24-7 to the entire world and he's the most popular show on the planet. Spoilers, come on, you know that much. That's not spoiling the movie. It's not spoiling the movie. It's literally the first five minutes of the movie tell you that. It's a really good movie. I'd absolutely recommend it. One of Jim Carrey's just best performances. Just ever. <laughs> yeah, you've had, you've had 25 years for me to tell you like a basic plot summary. <laughs> Is it really Jim Carrey? I thought it was Tom Hanks for some reason. Nah, no, that's, that's a different guy. He's the first live streamer ever. The thing is, it came out in a time a bit before, like, reality TV was really a thing. 
So people have kind of looked back at it, saying that, like, you know, oh god, like, this is a bit more relevant now. It did. Well, I, it, I mean, it would have come out in, like, what? 1998? It was, like, the 90s, at least. It was quite ahead of its time. It was 1998, yeah. Uh, but this is a game called American Arcadia. Um, I don't know too much about it other than the, the lovely description for this on Steam is you are trying to escape a reality TV show. <laughs> so we're going to give it a go. Uh, shout out to Gab as well, who was playing this. And I saw a little bit of her video on it earlier today. This is like the start, and I was just like, oh, okay, that actually looks kind of fun, and I want to play that. May not represent the Truman Show as much. Well, no, it's going to be a bit different, but... There, there are some parallels. It obviously has been a bit of an inspiration for this game. Okay, let's give this a go. Uh, I'll quickly see if there's like subtitles and shit um, before we just get going with ending audio. I think that's all okay. Did anyone see subtitles? Turn you off. Game subtitles on. Okay, yeah, they're, they're already on. That should be fine then. Should be grand. I, I I think that'll work. Okay, and sound check. Sound check is the sound okay? Before we get going. Can we get your subtitles. Yeah, let, me, let me personally type them. As we go, like I'm like streaming it and playing it, and I'm just hang on, guys. I need to get the captions here. Okay. Thank you everyone for the bits. Thank you everyone for the subs. Very kind of you. Uh, let's have fun and let's just see what this is about. Welcome to our American Arcadia. Motion sickness reduction. Um, we'll chance it. We'll see what it's like. If it's really bad, we'll we'll talk about it. It's nice that that's not from there, you know. What if I want to get motion sick? Oh. Wow! What is this, Mr. Walton? This, Comet, is our new project, Arcadia. It looks like a city from outer space. It's <laughs> Walton <laughs> Dosney. Quite. Arcadia is indeed a city, but it would be built right here, in America. God. Picture a city of dreams and hopes for the young and old alike, where technology and science go hand in hand with fun and entertainment. Don't forget money in my pockets. Gee. Sounds like a dream, Mr. Walton. Because it is a dream, Comet. And remember, to reach our dreams, we need to soar higher than ever before. Don't forget our capitalist dreams. Are you ready to proceed then? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm ready. Good. We're recording now. So... Please, sir, state your name, age, and occupation. Oh, God. <laughs> Trevor Hills, 28. Senior well, he's the same age as me. INAC, is... Although, I'm not sure about that anymore. There's no way. I'm also the most popular person in Arcadia. But you probably already know that, right? He looks like he's 40. Look, there's no way he's 28. Oh, Jesus. You are <laughs> We're just going. The world of tomorrow today is looking a bit more grim than I remember, like, Mickey Mouse has a handgun. <laughs> I don't remember them open fire in a Disneyland. Yes, we know that, Mr. Hills. Please continue. 
Uh, I used to have a mundane life, just my everyday routine, and I, I liked it that way. But I think it all probably began about two weeks before that dreadful day. Oh, thank you for the caption. <laughs> Kimo's clubhouse has changed a lot. It really has. Turn off our alarm. Good morning, Arcadia. <sighs> Today we're enjoying a splendid temperature of 77.1 degrees and a humidity of 53% on this Arcadia. beautiful sunny Friday morning. Oh, look at that. We got the automatic blinds. Science always finds a way. Interact with morning, the fish? Kovacs. What do you say? Up for another exquisite cabbage breakfast? Oh. oh boy. Auto we got? droid to full cleaning. Oh, we got like a Roomba and everything. I was pretty good at Spectrex when I was a kid. But I'm not into video games anymore. <laughs> Could you be imagine being 28 and into video games? Couldn't be me. It's not a Steinway, but it fits in my comfy hobbit hole. I mean, this guy's living like my dream life as far as like his home is concerned. Everything I want there. It's like an open, like, plan kitchen and everything. Morning, Mr. Bernstein. Good morning, Trevor. Like this, this could be me. This could be my morning. Monorail. And uh, over here on your right, you can see the Walton Family Memorial. Oh my it's god. a massive sculpture carved in stone of Elijah Walton, uh, his brother Donald, and Vivian Walton, Elijah's granddaughter and the current Arcadia representative. Next stop, INAP Gemini Tower West. He's got like a little Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Let's sign into work. Trevor Hill. Welcome to Inax Gemini Towers. You've been working with us for nine years, ten months, and fourteen days. It's been here Thank a while. You for your dedication. Very stable employment. Everything is perfect in the world of tomorrow. Still trying to beat my Spectrex high score, Mitch? It's just a matter of time, Trevor. Just a matter of time. <laughs> yeah, sure. Whatever. Right, he uses English major for good. Like, this could be me working in the office. Hello. Hey, Trevor, are you up for the Blitz Festival party tonight? It's in the Limelight Club. Sorry, no can do. I'm I'm behind schedule. And I'm not much into clubbing either. Think you can have fun by yourselves without the life and soul of the party? Ha! We'll try our best, man. Oh, you bunch of rascals. Uh, yeah, so I believe the voice actor for this as well. People are saying, uh, it's Yuri Lowenthal? So this is, this is Spider-Man. In his day job. Ada, the automated data analyzer, is the most powerful computer ever built. INAC technology inside. Trevor, my man! Hi, Gus. You look good, buddy. Been going to the hey, gym. how's it going? Uh, I don't need a gym to keep this ripped body in shape. Hills jeans! By the way, you going to the Blitz party tonight? Nope, I still have some stuff to finish here. Trevor, man, it's a dedicated it man to have a whose little job. Bit of fun once in a while? Sending the Ada. I do have fun, moderately. I enjoy doing my job. Validated. You won't be enjoying it so much now that Romano is our new supervisor. Sending to Ada? What? Will Romano? Seriously? But that guy's a moron. Um, uh, validated. You know, Gus, sometimes I get the feeling that only absolute jerks, egomaniacs, and obnoxious people thrive in this company. I didn't know you were interested in the supervisor's oh, job. Oh, no. I'm sending it to Ada. Validated. Welcome to the industry. Like, William Romano, man. You gotta be kidding me. Have you ever wanted to leave all your worries behind and have the time of your That's life you at home, watching the, the stream right now. Making unforgettable memories. Now, thanks to the Arcadia Edge Travel Grant, you can experience what you've only dared to dream of. Because not everyone who wanders is lost. 
The Edge Travel Grant, only in Arcadia. Wow, Arcadia sure is great. Uh, Mr. Hills, you haven't really told us anything out of the ordinary so far. Do you really need to go through... No, I, I know what I've told you might seem irrelevant now, but it'll help you understand later. Trust me. Things have not gone well for Trevor. <laughs> Nine days before that dreadful day. Good morning, Arcadia. Another wonderful morning. It's another beautiful day in the city of tomorrow. We're expecting a high of 75 degrees and humidity of 66%. Just think of the like the routine, the regularity here. Got the same sweater. Good to see you, Mr. Bernstein. Good morning, Trevor. Oh, I hope you are up for a pleasant stroll. Trevor owns his own lane. home. So He's got a stable job. Ready, because you might get some really, really nice pics of the Arcadia Spire up there. Next stop, INAC Gemini Tower West. Ooh. I wonder where this guy This is went. what you want. Hey, Millie, have you seen Gus today? Is he sick or...? I don't think so. He just left early today. Really? He didn't say anything to me. We're gonna fall behind schedule. Man, I'll be working overtime to send all these Ada memos by myself. <laughs> Thank you, Gus. So it's, it's a late night for Trevor. <laughs> Jesus, this is gonna take me forever to finish. I should have been home three hours ago, and I still have a ton of work to do. Get ready to leave. How do I right stick CCTV area? Uh that's wide interact. Hey, hey! I'm still working here! Oh. <laughs> well, that was weird. Three more days passed. Well, let's just not think about it. Oh God. <laughs> Keep it together, Trevor. <laughs> On our way to work again. My fellow citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner. His name is... Hey, isn't that Gus? Augustus Rainey, a 31-year-old senior account manager at INAC. Soon, Gus will be enjoying Fiji's pristine beaches and crystal clear water. Oh, they've got... Okay, well, that's... That's a bit on the nose, game. <laughs> Seen the Truman Show. That's weird. <laughs> Gus was never interested in any of this. He's off to Fiji. Oh, I'm sure Gus is going to have so, a wonderful time. I barely got to meet him, you know. They promoted me to a supervisor uh, two days later. Gus the Globetrotter left us. <laughs> Romano, I really doubt that Gus ever applied for the travel grant. Ah, uh, you know, Gus, not much of a talker. What a lucky son of a gun, though, huh? Huh? <laughs> Fiji. Ooh, I'd kill for a beach trip right about now. Anyway, uh, make sure that report is ready for tomorrow, will you? Now I've heard that our uneventful Have week of filing my account. Living the dream. <laughs> what on earth? That's weird, that keeps happening. Better get my TV repaired. <laughs> uh, something out of the ordinary here. <laughs> Clock in for work again. Trevor Hills, welcome to Inax Gemini Towers. Hey, hey, did anybody hear that? It's that song again. I've got to change my ringtone. Really? <laughs> oh, I just thought I was gonna get like the classic Nokia jingle. Hey, Francis. Morning, Trevor. Listen, Dave, 
Have you noticed some weird things going on lately in the office? Weird? How? What do you mean? I don't know. Lights going off? Music suddenly playing in the PA system? No, nothing. Okay, well, yeah, forget it. Does your TV ever remind you that they're lying to you? Just like at 3 a.m.? There must be a rational explanation for all this. There must be. The day before that dreadful day. God, this can't all be a product of my imagination, can it? Hey, Trevor, you up for a couple no, of beers no, after- No, 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 I- sorry, I, I can't. I can't. What's well, gotten into him? Leave me alone, damn it. Trevor, Trevor is sick of his colleagues. I just want to get back to work. File my accounts. What? Oh. Jesus. <laughs> what the? Who is doing this? Who on earth is doing this? Would somebody please look at these screens? Uh oh. Damn. Maybe it's only stress. I've been working too much lately. I need to go to the doctor. It's it's been ages since hey, I. You should have a holiday like Gus, you know. Some time off in Fiji. No, I'm not in the mood to play right. Now. I don't even want to get close to the TV. He doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> Who knows what might happen if I try Kovacs? Am I going crazy, buddy? But Trevor needs to take his pills. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna sleep a wink tonight. Back to bed. That dreadful day. Sure hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> Those were probably the worst two weeks in my entire life. Or at least the weirdest. Although it was nothing compared to what I was going to experience later that day. Do you know if they even had a name for it? You mean a name for your... Yes, that's it. The day the running started. Okay. Okay. I, uh, I have to get a hold of myself. It's Friday. Just a few more hours of work, and the week will be over. I'll finish here, go back home, have a glass of warm milk, that go to sleep. Apply for the He's been huffing green two. goblin the only requirements are that you must be of legal age and have an insatiable wanderlust. Request the application form via ordinary mail or Adenet. No, thank you. Okay, let's just log on for the day. Get back to doing my accounts. Okay, today's tasks. Nothing like some routine stuff to keep your mind occupied. Oh, come just on. another day on the job. I didn't even save. Hey guys, did you lose your- Uh-oh. <laughs> what? Gus is... dead. Oh my god, it's 100% American. Free Deluxe. On the tenth floor. Now what? <laughs> I'm just gonna- let me just go for a stroll real quick. Gus got a little carried away at Fiji, what you know. Earth? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> feel feeling a little targeted here. for the travel grant neither did Gus follow my instructions when you exit the elevator it's your only chance to survive what, what? wait what on earth was that 
<laughs> this is a weird day of work. God. I think my supervisor's playing a prank on me. Here, on the intercom. Look at them. Do those guys look like travel agents to you? Take the elevator at the end of the hallway and go straight to the 20th floor. Whatever happens, do not stop until you get there. Oh, hey, hey, Trevor, come here. Where are you going, Mr. I Mills? have good news. Can't for stop. Us. No, 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 no. They've seen me. Found with this measure, we will. Hey, you can't be here, Mister. This is a private. Hey, how's it going, gang? I'm sorry. I, I'm. I just. I have, I have to. I just. Don't mind me. Bye. <laughs> I'm running. I'm running to get my plane to Fiji. God, oh God, oh God. It. Take the stairs. Okay, now what do I do? When you reach the 20th floor, cross the Ada room lobby and enter the supercomputer room. The supercomputer room? I don't have clearance to access the- Don't worry, I'll take care of that. Hey, just go try to- They won't be here for a while. Damn it, there's no exit here. Hey, you. Strange voice, or whatever you are. Can you hear me? What do I do now? Wait in there. I have to do something really quick. What? Calm down. Don't, Don't panic. I'll be right back. Oh? Oh, I'm so sorry to leave you hanging there, Trevor. But admin permissions are updated daily, so I have to do this right here and right now. Okay. Great. All checked. Next phase of the plan. There she is. Kendra Tomlin, my inept boss. She's probably been logged into her computer all day, lurking through her assigned citizen grid, enjoying a quiet day with no incidents. Well, that's about to change as soon as I shut Walton down her computer media. from my cell phone. Which, I don't remember where I put. Ah, uh, where did I leave my cell phone? Oh god, right, it's first person now. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be, we're gonna be hopping between them, I think. Poor Trevor is just left on hold. Uh, yeah, where, where did I where did I leave my phone and my keys? The weather forecast predicts a blizzard for the next three days. Yay! No matter how hard I try, I always have an awkward expression in my ID photos. Look at that, like, awkward smirk. <laughs> I'm really confused why you're taking my photo. Uh, where, where's my phone? This little plant managed to survive, despite my black thumb. Oh, I'm such a mess. Someday I'll have to get this huge mountain of paper in order. Digital and deadly. Science always finds a way. Our pad Kovac signed this postcard for me when I met him at TechCon in 1999. Uh, enact billboards, spire apartments, coffee asked to install. I have to admit that changing the billboards was a bit theatrical, but that's the way I am, I guess. Uh. Here you there's are. There's my phone. Now I only have to access Kendra's computer and unleash hell. I wrote down her IP here. Oh, how stupid can I be? Only I could think of writing uh, something that uh, important on my hand. Probably. Clancy's activist. Probably ever. shouldn't be streaming this bitch. <laughs> And we're gonna be, we're gonna be poor Kendra's gonna get a bit more than she bragged for as we dox her live on Twitch. Sorry for interrupting another hard day of procrastination, Kendra. Just a couple seconds to begin the cursing and screaming in three, two, one, one again. And here it is. <laughs> Total system <laughs> shutdown. Now, Kendra, She's so you better upset. follow the protocol like a responsible supervisor and call Jean. Yeah, of course, it's Kendra. Yelling? <laughs> She's be pissed. Sorry I have to get out here, or you will find out what yelling is. I'm sorry, Kendra. You're gonna have to move soon. And here it comes, directly from the server room. Jean Win, the admin guy. Hey, Jean. Poor Jean. I really owe you one man. <laughs> Gene. Okay. Gene does not so want to be empty <laughs> as long as Gene is pulling all of Kendra's oh, aggro. What took you so long? And by the looks of it, you it's gonna be a while. So next phase, get inside the server room. Can't be you caught on the surveillance cameras. Can 
Can I tap this here? The hallway to the server room is tracked by three surveillance cameras. I need to get close to the cameras and upload the loop footage from my cell phone. But I have to be sure the right video is uploaded to the right camera. Okay. Ah, here it is. So this is this is this one of the hall, right? Link the camera one. Is that right? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's the perspective there. Uh, does anyone see a camera? I, I'm assuming I need to avoid be spotted. Don't mind me. Uh, that's this one looking at the plant. Just shutting down the office security. No, thank you. I've had enough sugar today. Uh, need one more. We're looking for like a portrait of him. Walt, Mr. Walton Dosney. I mean, they, they might see me just walking up the halls like this. Okay, upload our footage. All the videos are uploaded and playing the loops. I can enter the server room now. Look at him go. If I could have lunch today with anyone dead or alive, it would definitely be Elijah Walton. Don Walton. What a prick. Yeah, there's some history here we're not familiar Vivian with. Vivian Walton, the beloved heiress of the Walton Empire. Ugh. They have no noses, yeah. It, it, we seem to live in a noseless society. This is what the, the Dosney Corporation always wanted, apparently. Yeah, we can access the server room, I think. Shit. I forgot that Gene still uses the old four-digit security system, and I don't know his passcode. Uh, 1984? <laughs> <sighs> Wrong passcode. <laughs> no, Damn okay. it. it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. EN2SF21. Could be 1234. Oh, no, 1208. See it. Ta-da! Door open. Wait. Is it? Ta-da! Door open. It closes pretty quick. Let's log into his computer. There's nothing of interest in Gene's computer. No. The servers are in that room in the back. How do you think Trevor is doing while like we're just like moseying around the office? Like, how, like Trevor will be running for his life. From his travel agents, and we're like, hang on, Trevor, I need to get it like a drink. I'm kind of thirsty. This is IP. Just remember that 190, 114, 105, 66. Might be important. Good. Now I only have to access the servers and grant myself admin permissions. Got it. Now back to my office to keep helping Trevor. Okay. See, see how Trevor's doing. <laughs> She's been doxxed again. Shit, I almost forgot to restore the surveillance cameras before returning to Trevor. There yes. we go. All cameras are back It's gonna be someone in security. It's like, oh, oh why, uh, why, why'd she just blip into existence in the hall? You think this is normal? Uh, uh, I, 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 I can explain. Seriously, I have tons of work to worry about, and they expect me to meet my deadlines with constant screw-ups? This is not normal. Oh. Oh. You mean that? 
Uh, no, no, of course not. That is totally unacceptable. This is the second time I've had the same sudden crash. Remember it also happened a few days ago? Boom. And all my work goes down the drain in an instant. Yes. Yes, I remember. Yeah, sure. Uh, definitely Jean has something to do about that issue, of course. Anyway, looks like it's all Jean's fault. Fancy a latte macchiato with the cafeteria? Uh, sorry, Kendra. I still have some things to finish, and given what happened to you, I don't want to risk losing all my work too, you know? Hey, I got a man like shitting himself on the other line, Kendra. I gotta hey, get back to it and check up on him. Damn, I have a severe case of Blitz Cola addiction. Oh no. Gotta get you. Uh, how are we doing, Trevor? Okay, Trevor, I'm back. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Wait, your voice is... Oh, forgot to turn the voice modulator on. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, it's fine. I'd rather listen to a human voice than whatever that was before. <laughs> I've just been standing there for ten minutes. Yeah, what difference does it make now? Anyway, let me open that big door. Hey, press right stick to activate the CCTV system. Are ready. And then I can switch Wait, I can camera. Switch between them. So, and I can just toggle between these. That's that's really interesting. I didn't expect this wow, at all. That computer room is really dark. I was thinking we'd just be Trevor and like running for our life Trevor. a lot of the time. Go inside, please. Uh, okay. Come on, Trevor. You'll find an earpiece on that table ahead of you. Put it on so we can speak directly. I have the earpiece. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. And you? I can hear you too, yes. What is this place? Where am I? And why does it look like the backstage of a TV studio? Because it is, Trevor. This is Arcadia's uh. backstage. What? No, 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 no. This, this, is, this is the Ada room, the most powerful computer ever built. Ada means artifact disposal area. Oh, God. <laughs> These are all the tubes. This is where the containers from all INAC employees are dumped to be processed and destroyed. But that... That doesn't make any sense. INAC would lose millions if they just... INAC can't lose shit because INAC is not a real company. It's just another one of... Arcadia's intricate lies. But you've had enough lies already, Trevor. Let me show you the truth for once. His entire job is just like disposing of toilet rolls, essentially. Oh, I need to open this. There we go. Why Trevor, though? I mean, they had very limited tools to work with. You know, Gus needed to be dead, and we had a billboard that could spell out Gus is dead. It's a bit of a gambit, you know? It relied on both, like, someone knowing Gus, and a guy called Gus dying in that office. <laughs> Please, Trevor. Have it's actually very specific, if you think about now, it that way. in its 55th season. American Arcadia, oh, here we go. a 43 square mile metropolis where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24 hours a day, seven days a week on every digital platform. Including this one. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Arcadia, where a complex system of thousands of cameras registers the everyday lives of their 23,414 Arcadia-born citizens. Experience love, drama, and scandal from all of your favorite Arcadia celebrities. Steve Just, DJ Zoom, Tiffany Amber Gaines, and many more. Vote, comment, and be a part of American Arcadia. Live from the Arcadia Dome, I'm your host, Vivian Walton. What? what uh -oh. is this? this, Trevor, is your life. A life that has been recorded for what? and compiled right down to the last second. What? Hey, okay, Twitch chat, what, what we have for dinner tonight? Be interested in my life? That's exactly the problem, Trevor. 
Nobody is interested in your life. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know who Steve Just is. Well, yeah, everybody knows Aerobic Steve. He's the most popular person in Arcadia. Of course he is. Well, this is Steve Just's track camera view rate. That's the number of people outside Arcadia who watch his life 24-7. And this is your track camera view rate. Actually, you only have one person following your track camera. And that's me. You're not an absolute jerk, an egomaniac, or Oh, no. You're just an average Joe with an ordinary life. Too ordinary. He's like Too almost ordinary. dead last. Too ordinary for what? To be profitable, Trevor. You're not good American Arcadia material. In here, a popular person means sponsorships, media coverage, ads, merchandise. In short, money. And as the audience ratings of American Arcadia are in negative growth, the show can't afford to maintain people like you anymore. Unprofitable citizens need to be... be retired from the show. Re retired You... you mean... Yes, I mean exactly what you're thinking. But... They can't do that, right? Oh, God. They can't kill me. Can they? Not legally. Oh, no, we're sorry, Jim Carrey. You're just not bringing in the numbers Who's anymore. Gonna we're going to have to... Ever show up again. We're going to have Nobody's to execute you. In your life, remember? Oh, my God. This... This is a nightmare. This can't be true. Trevor, I know this is tough to swallow, but we have to keep going, okay? Oh. <sighs> okay. 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 Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, no, I can already tell this is going to get meta, though, because if we get really chased, right? Then that means the ratings for Trevor is going to go up through the roof. And then he's just going to be locked into the system, and he's probably going to stay here. And Oh, no. This may get awful really quickly. Good. We can try to use your anonymity to our advantage to get you out of here. But first things first, you have to leave the INAC building and get to the closest monorail station. Hey you, whoever you are, I I don't see a way around here. Jump, Trevor. There's a wardrobe case back there. Bring it here and climb on it to get to that platform. Is it this? There we go. What about his turtle? Um, some someone else is gonna have to feed him. The turtle may be retired as well. No, probably presumably the turtle is actually bringing in the ratings. He is not a concern. How do I, how do I get up? I just press A. Okay, here we go. <sighs> turtle got hundreds of viewers because he's a turtle. I mean that that does make sense. Yeah. Pop that open. Hey, uh, hey, I I can't see anything in here. Could you do something about that, please? Uh, is that better? Now let's try to find a way out of here. Uh. Let me just move that over. I think I'm going the right way. Trevor, are you wheezing? You're in terrible shape, man. Did you do <laughs> any exercise at all? No, not, not since PE in high school. Because of my metabolism, I don't easily gain weight, so I don't usually do any. Okay, <laughs> Trevor, okay. please. I'm not here to judge your lifestyle or your dietary habits. Just save your breath and keep going, will you? Like, well, we really picked like a prime <laughs> specimen for the job. <laughs> it's too real. He's just like me. Oh, I need to I need to hop on this again. Hang on. Forklift up. Just your average guy. Oh, you can actually jump pretty well. Fairness to him. Okay, so oh god, wait, you can still move while in even in the camera view. See that? Switch on the light. Uh. 
this back here. Uh, Trevor, hide. Oh no, it's travel agents. Push, Trevor, push! Just keep running. Move up the elevator. Switch on the light. Okay, I gotta, I gotta move this out. No, gotta move it up. And out. And down. Oh, there we go. I didn't do it. Hang on. <laughs> Pop this on. Squish Trevor. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna get someone else with a job, Trevor. No, it doesn't let you do that. It doesn't let you. We tried. You gotta go, Trevor. We're going on an adventure. Zero out of ten game. You cannot comically kill Trevor. The first possible chance. My fellow citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner. His uh -oh. name is Trevor Hills, a 28-year-old account manager with no friends and a boring life that <laughs> nobody gives two shits about. Oh my god. god. You're so mean, Vivian. I'm sorry, I just can't help myself. Jesus Christ. I know the rules. All grant winners must be publicly announced, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, I don't see the point in it. Who cares about this guy? Anyway, let's take five and we'll record it in one go, okay? Okay, that's an outtake, I think. I don't think they're going to broadcast that. I was like, oh, tonight's lotto winner is like Joe Schmo, some asshole in the countryside. Vivian Walton is a horrible person? I think evil bitch describes her better, but it's that evil bitch who hosts American Arcadia Live feeds every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 8 p.m. Three hour specials where the Walton Empire's true heiress drags her family legacy through the mud. <laughs> and the audience loves her. So yeah, she's a horrible person. Sorry. <laughs> do we know like, do, like what the, the, the hacker lady person's name is? Again, what was it? It's Trevor and Th Margaret Thatcher. No, it's not Margaret Thatcher. Kendra, Kendra was the manager. It's just a woman. <laughs> I don't think it's a woman. <laughs> Have you seen a guy around here dressed in seventies clothing? Yes, about twenty thousand every day. I work in American Arcadia, man. Can't you be a little more specific? Hey, what happened? Turn it off. What do I know? Let me fix it. <laughs> fix it. Run, Trevor. On again. I, was, I was supposed to bring a box. Hang on. <sighs> They're gonna be pissed at this light. I gotta make like two more trips at least. Could you please give me a hand with this light? Not my job, thank you very much. There we go, it's on. Don't mind, don't mind the laundry basket. I think I saw something moving there. Drone, a box is moving in backstage H32. Scan the area. <laughs> oh my god! Have you seen a guy around here dressed in 70s clothing? Yes, about 20,000 okay. every day. <laughs> you I work you die pretty quick. <laughs> Can't you be a little more specific? Yeah, Caucasian male. Jesus, that was fast. Oh, 
With that, <laughs> he just got shot. I can narrow it down to <laughs> five thousand individuals, maybe. Six foot oh, tall. Oh, they're not messing around. Glasses. Have you seen or not? <laughs> We're just instantly done. Well, the only person that I've seen fitting that description is you. <laughs> what a prick. Hey, what happened? What do I know? Let me fix it. It's back on. I think I saw something moving there. Drone. A box is moving in backstage H32. Scan the area. Go, 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 go! Oh. Go! <laughs> it's okay, we got the checkpoint. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mannequins. They've put mannequins in here too, just to fill up seats? Yep. Now you're getting it. <gasps> Damn it. Trevor, hide quick. Any news? Not yet. How do, I, how do I hide? Good. He's not going to get out of this building. Unless he grows a pair of wings. There we go. Just kind of crouch a bit. These are all my office mates. My, my colleagues at work. Shit. Plan B, Trevor. Forget about the elevator. You have to find another way out. Me? I'm an account manager. The only things I can find are mistakes and balance sheets. <sighs> Let me think. Um... There's a uh, there's a window in front of you. You gotta <laughs> jump, Trevor. I'm not thinking of. We need to get you to the closest monorail station as soon as possible. There's no other option. There's another station literally in front of the Inoc building. Didn't you hear them, Trevor? What part of all exits are covered? Didn't you get? Oh, this is a seriously bad idea. Well, it's either that or you die, Trevor. So take your pick. <laughs> Remember, Trevor, you're Spider-Man. <laughs> In another life. Oh God. This is really high. Would you, please you gotta, down, Trevor. you gotta use your web slinging powers, Trevor. In which case you'd already be dead by now. Just don't panic and let me think of something. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Trevor, Trevor, you're doing all right. Okay, just keep going. It's okay, Trevor. You do it amazing. See, it wasn't that bad. I just realized that I don't even know your name or why you're doing this. I'd rather not give you more details right now, for safety reasons. But you can call me Kovacs. Kovacs? Like, like my turtle? What? No, man. Kovacs, the Hungarian scientist and architects of tomorrow. Science always finds a way and all that, you know? My god, my turtles oh, help yeah. me. Yeah, our Pat Kovacs. I was a huge fan too. I named my turtle after him. Dude, why do you keep bringing your turtle into this conversation? Well, I'm just very I proud just of him, you know. Yeah, forget it. Trevor, watch out. Don't let the bargain basement Beastie Boys see you. The what? Oh, I forgot you don't know the Beastie Boys. Uh, uh, travel Gemini agents. A6 Don't let the travel agents. Please revert state. Hop over here. Shutter malfunction. Revert to open state. <laughs> yeah, she probably got bit by a turtle. That's why she's not impressed. Hey, Trevor. I must say, you are coping quite well with all this physical stress, despite your age. What do you mean, my age? I'm 28. You're. Oh, <laughs> oh you're. Uh, sorry about that. I. Uh, uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's the mustache. It is kind of shocking. You see the guy? No. Um, There's no way he climbed out the window. What do they expect? The stapler guy from office space climbing out of a window? Come on. I go down? No, I have another camera. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just zip around there.
Now what? Uh, now what what? Just jump over the gap and move forward. Are, are you sure? If I miss, I die. Oh, come on, Trevor. Even my grandpa could jump that. You gotta go, Trevor. What are you doing? You're gonna hurt yourself, Mr. Hills. Oh, shit. The travel agents are here. Uh, jump. Now. Let's go. Uh, please, stop running. We're all so out of shape, stop Trevor. immediately. He's going. He's doing parkour. Everyone wanders is lost. Get over that crane, Trevor, quick! The crane? Yes, trust me. He's going over the crane. Damn it! I'll, I'll try to cut him off. Oh, oh! Get over that crane, Trevor, quick! Okay, I've done the something crane. wrong here. Yes, trust me. Here we go. Uh, oh no, 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 I'll try to cut him off. Um. What are we, do, what are we doing, Trevor? Subject is corn. Send drone to area 84. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Get over that crane, Trevor, quick. Okay, you, crane. you don't have much time. It's so Trust abrupt me. when they just kill you. No, 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 I'm do I'm doing something wrong here. It's a bit too slow. Get over the crane, Trevor, quick! The crane! I'm too old to make it in time. He's going over the crane! Oh no, 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 no! Damn it! I'll try to cut him off. Go, Trevor! You got a death wish or what? Jump. Jump as far as you can. Into the pool. Ah! Wait, you jumped into a swimming pool from the twentieth floor of a building? It was a deep yes. pool. Yes, and while I think it's pretty obvious, I'm not exactly a daredevil. Although in hindsight, that jump was nothing compared to what I had to do afterwards. Better already? Dry enough? No, I'm still. Thank God he didn't break wet. his legs or something. Sorry about that, but we don't have much time. Get oh, moving before the travel agents get down here. Oh man. Good evening, guy. How y'all doing? <sighs> Soar higher than ever before. Pretty high up. Wow, is it a helicopter after me? That's gonna be expensive. <laughs> they really want Trevor dead. <laughs> Trying to intercept him is probably costing significantly more than it would to just like you turn, you no, know, like just let him keep li working. Can't be costing the company that much money. But the ratings, true. That's why they're doing this. Think of the ratings. Trevor's gonna get a new sh show segment where he's just running from the law. You two cross the monorail tracks, right? You were gonna say that, weren't you? I'm afraid so. Uh, damn it. Just go quick. <laughs> you know, it's the truth, so they can't let him live. True, actually, yeah. The sunk cost fallacy. But no, they're, they're invested so much to try and apprehend him, though. Damn it! Heels got out of the I want you to haul ass like there's no tomorrow. He jumped to the pool, man. What's going on? Somebody stop that car alarm. <laughs> Don't there mind is. me. Catch him. Come here. <laughs> no. Trevor, watch out. Damn it. In my signal, I want you to haul ass like there's no tomorrow. Possible. He jumped to the pool, man. 
What's going on? Somebody stop that it's car. Trevor Hills! Get him! <laughs> Come here, you! Trevor, watch out! Damn it! Hills got out of the Inac East Tower? How is that possible? You gotta run. He's you running! To the pool, man. My signal, I What's want going you to on? Ass like there's no tomorrow. Somebody stop that car alarm. Now, Trevor, run! There, there we is. go. <laughs> okay. It's on her you. signal. <gasps> run, Trevor. Get to the last car of the monorail. <laughs> These travel agents are relentless. You'll have an enjoy uh, enjoyable face. vacation in Fiji. Oh, so help me God. Yeah, look at the face of that bestie kid or whatever you call them. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> what did I say it wrong? Sorry, I did just I got a bit overexcited. Ooh. So, where are we headed to, Kovacs? Right into the Cygnus lobby. Grand Hotel Cygnus? What for? There's a badge I need you to retrieve there. Right, the travel agents want you so bad. Like they really want you to have a nice vacation. Your Please enjoy yourself. In Arcadia are oh. about to begin. Soon you'll be transported to the stunning city of tomorrow. But before you have dinner at the top of the Spire restaurant, enjoy the best disco music in the Look limelight at these club. Sims go. Or discover the magic <laughs> of Comet Land. There's something else you need to know. Introducing Access Badge, an amazing electronic device that will allow you to make the most of your Arcadia vacations. Carefully designed to look like a real 1970s prop, your Access Badge will be scanned at the checkpoint terminal on your entry day, and that's it! You don't even need to check in at the front desk. Just use your Access Badge to get into your hotel room and start having Desperately fun. need the fast pass. Even our auto droid operated room service will be entirely at your disposal thanks to your Access Badge. And remember, if you're using the Insta Delivery Service, your bags will be waiting in your room just a few seconds after you open the door. Please carry your access badge with you at all times during your Arcadia visit until the day you leave at your assigned departure checkpoint. If you don't, we'll fucking now kill you! you are ready to experience the city of tomorrow as Elijah Walton himself envisioned it. Remember, enjoy your stay in Arcadia and... Do not break the fourth wall. Uh-oh. <laughs> Grand Hotel Cygnus Station. Please watch your step when exiting the car. Don't do it. Wow, look at this place. This is majestic. Definitely. It's not called the Grand Hotel for nothing. But we didn't choose it for the luxury. The Cygnus is the only hotel in Arcadia with a monorail station built inside. We need to, like, hide in one of like, the rooms or something. So, what's the plan now? Oh, yes. To get you out like any other Arcadia tourist, you'll need one of those badges I told you about. Didn't you just say that all tourist areas are restricted unless you wear the badge? How am I going to get into your suite then? We'll have to slip you through the service zones and then get you to the room floors. Oh, I see. Makes sense. This is a reference to Walt Disney's original idea for Epcot. No, no, surely not. Uh, his name's just Walton Dosney. Beyond this point, wear your access badge. Guess it's not it's even worth suspicion. trying, is it? It might be that. Ah, forget it. That door won't open. Just keep going until you find a storage door. I'll open it for you. Thanks, Kovac. Hey, there's a giant... Storage cabinet blocking my way. Oh, uh, I'll take care of it. Oh, am I gonna have to do like a little slidey puzzle? <laughs> Can I crush him? Trevor, I can't move that cabinet if you're in the way. Move <laughs> out of the way, please. Okay, okay. Gotta move this out of the way, maybe.
Got him in here. Uh... I, I think I've made more of a blockade somehow. <laughs> He's soft locked -ish. Push that out. Aha! There we go. Kovacs, I was wondering. Wouldn't it have been easier if you just entered Arcadia like a regular tourist and simply handed me the badge? No can do. I have to be here to operate the devices to help you. Okay, yeah, that's a valid point. On our backstage. And how do you exasperate every situation you're in? It's quite impressive. Oh, my secret is blind panic. You have to understand. <laughs> Go. Uh. I, oh no, I gotta get up here. No, speaking as a 28 year old, uh. No idea what I'm doing half the time. I tell you some of the best and worst video game player I've ever seen. I describe it as stumbling into success. Honestly, I'm shocked some of the things like we, we've been able to pull off in the channel through the years. Like I may not be able to play Tetris, but like apparently I can beat like Breath of the Wild, like per without dying. You know. Or like pu pull off these wild Pokemon Nuzlocke while also failing completely as a human being to play a basic round of Suica. Okay, up you go. Um, Kovacs? Yeah? You're always saying we are doing this, we are planning that. I'm gonna assume you're working with someone else, right? Yes. I'm a member of an activist group, so to speak. It's called Breakout. Its founders... Well, let's just say you're not the first person who tried to escape from Arcadia. But no one's done the it successfully. The known as the Arcadia 6 Breakout. Although the event has always been categorically denied by Walton Media, in January 1992, well, six Arcadia-born citizens successfully evaded the confinement measures and managed to escape from the city. Shortly after, Walton Media was the target of several boycott actions that resulted in severe financial losses for the company and reignited the debate about the ethical treatment of Arcadia-born citizens. A group named Breakout released a statement taking responsibility for the actions. Its leader, known only by his alias, Number Six, claimed to be one of the escapees in the 1992 incident. We will never cease in our struggle against Walton Media until the company listens and all Arcadian prisoners are released. And if our words are not enough to make them listen, maybe our actions will be. A struggle that breaking today, out everyone from the TV years set. after the Arcadia 6 breakout, still continues. Disney's story life living. Everyone just really wanted out of Disneyland, you know, that's all it comes down to. Like, come on, Walt, we want to go home. No, this is the happiest place on earth. This is the magic kingdom. You cannot leave. It's like, Walt, we can't just live off churros. Jesus, this is really high. Again. How? Why do your escape plans always involve making me climb way up high? The most discreet route isn't always the safest one. 
Sorry about that. Thank you, everybody. You'll be in the terrific audience. Oh. We're the Swans, and we hope you're enjoying our music this evening here at the Signus Row restaurant. What happens if, like, like a wall breaks or something? Here's an instrumental version. In one of these places, I like you just fall into the abyss. Not that song what happens again, if like someone it? needs to do plumbing in this What's world? Matter, don't you like it? Well, I liked it better before it became the theme song for Trevor Hill's worst day ever. Okay, move heads. Oh, move wings. Move heads. Move wings. Don't plummet to your untimely demise, Trevor. With the heads. Uh, move the wing. Can I fall down this one? <laughs> no. No, Trevor! <laughs> uh, okay, I thought it was, uh, that was my mistake there. He just kind of waltzed off the edge there. Come on, Trevor. With the heads. I just jump, make it to this one? You can, there we go. That's what you're supposed to do. With the head. And a big jump to the end. There we go. You know what, Kovacs? I was just thinking of this day when I That's, was That's, uh, like, for a 28-year-old man who's not very not agile. The official class bully. That's quite impressive. I didn't even fight back. But the teacher sent both of us to detention on Saturday. And because of that, I missed the trip to Comet Land that I had been waiting for all year. Well, that miserable day is now a touching memory to cherish compared with today. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Trevor, honestly, but it's the only way. Uh, Trevor, you, you really just would have been, like, shot and killed. <laughs> if it wasn't for Kovac helping you, you know? I know you're having a rough time of it, but... The alternative literally is your untimely demise. There is a laundry cart ahead. Get inside and make sure you can't be seen. An auto droid will bring it to the room floor shortly. Piece of cake. Piece of cake? Hey, at least this is clean laundry. That's something. In you go, Trevor. How, how long am I supposed to wait in here, Kovacs? I don't know. My suite is in the ninth floor, so... The ninth floor? Shh, pipe down. The auto droid's coming. Listen. When you get into my room, you'll find a suitcase that, well, you don't need any further description. Let's just say that my suitcase really stands out. <laughs> Trevor's gonna be here a while. Three days ago. Next, please. Hello, welcome to your holiday. Oh, we're back as Kovac. Please leave your luggage on the conveyor belt. May I scan your Arcadia e-ticket, please? Sure, here you go. Just give me a second while I find your booking. Oh, here it is. Four nights in a deluxe suite at the Grand Hotel Cygnus for Sylvia Lauren, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Your deluxe suite includes the Insta delivery service for your vacation at no additional cost. So your bags will be in your room in just a few seconds. They are oh, after wow. everyone. That's convenient. Remember that you give your permission to open, search, check, and scan your luggage in case you've forgotten any modern technological devices. And if you have it. forgotten, there'll be consequences. <laughs> of course. But don't worry, there's nothing inside. I've been really careful. Great. Just a few more things. Before your entry day, you must take the Elijah Walton's Dream of Tomorrow ride <laughs> down this hallway to the left. You don't have to wait in line. Speedway access is included. You can't in check into the Walt Disney Hotel unless you go climb Thunder Mountain. On your entry day, 
Don't wear any modern clothing, piercings, dyed hair, or any other fashionable items that might be considered anachronistic for the people of Arcadia. God forbid you have any personality. But we can't let you break the fourth wall. <laughs> Will do. Thank you so much. Thank you, and enjoy your holidays in Arcadia. Ugh, two more seconds of corporate curtsy and I would have puked rainbows. Next part of the plan. Gotta get this stupid thing inside my suitcase so Trevor can wear it. Okay, so we gotta help out Trevor. Press RT to sprint. Oh, I, I kind of don't like that. That implies I'm gonna be chased or something. Soar higher than ever before. A replica of Walton's electric car. Nobody knows where the real Walton mobile is. RT has been mentioned. I, guys, I'm in the game. <laughs> that's a that's a little cheeky nod to me. I didn't have a right trigger on any controller until I came around. Arcadia was never intended to be this crazy megalopolis. It is weird to imagine, like, like if society did go the whole Epcot route, just probably how awful it would be. I mean, there's a lot of things wrong anyway, but... Like, I don't know how people know, uh, like, Defunctland has, like, a great documentary on this, but, like, Epcot, the City of Tomorrow, was, like, a real thing that Walt Disney wanted to make. Where, basically, the idea was a planned city. Or a neighborhood. Defunctland mentioned. Well, what can I say? I've got taste. Um, but like, I just strongly recommend his documentary on it. Like, uh, like uh, just his videos covering it. I think he's making another one soon. Like, it's a really kind of fucked up concept, basically. Like, Walt essentially trying to establish, like, his own nation. Only a megalomaniac like Vivian would order her face to be carved in stone. This game might have a legal issue with Disney, actually, even calling the character Walton. No joke. They've gone after a lot of people in the I'm past. crazy about this song. Poor Trevor must be crazy about it, too. But for different reasons. A musical genius, and another unknowing prisoner. Arcadia's greatest artist is a talented young woman locked in a gilded cage. Just a popular guy, how Steve just became the embodiment of the American way of life. <laughs> that this dimwit is the most popular person in the city really sums up what Arcadia has become. How do I, how do I get, I'm not gonna get my badge, I'm, I'm just having a look around. Vivian Walton's the limelight. Monorail. We'll probably have to get Trevor in this thing to get inside the Cygnus. Which we did. I believe the Arcadia Adams had a special agreement of some sort with the NFL. Man, I have dreamed of going to Comet Land ever since I was a kid. The Adams mascot is basically Comet on steroids. It is, pretty much. Don Walton and Senator Milton Burbank. Full. After that handshake, the Burbank Act allowed Walton Media to legally adopt and raise children. Oh, God. Don Walton and... Not that I'm a fan of the original American Arcadia, but it wasn't as bad as what we have now. That can't be good. But the company's acquired a new child in our possession. City of Tomorrow. I think I saw some episodes of this Comet reboot. Not bad, but it didn't have the charm of the classic shorts. Hey, <laughs> give it up, everyone, for the McDonald's babies. <laughs> it's basically what's going on here. Edna, I'm home. <laughs> I revisited some episodes recently. Still hilarious. Looking at things like Mohawk Mike, it's no wonder everybody says the 80s were the worst era for Walton Media shows. This movie is so cool. I love Castle Dark Key. Fantasy. By George Miller. <laughs> if we're calling the Castle Keep, Carl Wetters, Dennis Rena, Elka Huston, Christopher. Wait, Christopher Lee! Wait, this is straight up just Steven Spielberg. Uh, this isn't real, is it? Screenplay by Neil Gaiman. Hang on. <laughs> Wait. 
Wait a minute. Those are real names. <laughs> I was confused for a second. Hang on. We haven't got names on any of the other ones, have we? <laughs> Did they do that? <laughs> no, someone, someone tell Steven. That could, that could actually be a lawsuit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you're allowed to just insert someone's name into your property like that. I worked on the reboot during my first six months here. It was affected by the big shutdown of 2018. And science always finds a way. My childhood was built on Arpad Kovacs playing songs about science to his piano. Best TV show ever. Period. Nobody, yeah, no one... Do not tell Neil Gaiman or, like, Steven Spielberg, okay? Don't tell them. They don't need to know that they're here. <laughs> that could be an actual lawsuit. I'm not... I, I, I don't know if we have, like, any, any legal advisors in Twitch chat. I'm not entirely sure how it works. I, I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure you can't just put someone... Slap someone's name in your, your game like that, though. I don't think they'd care, but if they did. It was in this season that American Arcadia went from being a family reality show to the horrible human zoo it is now. If Neil Gaiman plays this game now and hates it, he might be a bit upset. When I was a kid, I used to blink my left eye this is every Dick now Van and then to see if I could do magic like Ginger the Witch. <laughs> People thought I was having a seizure. Oh, I love this movie. A 1946 classic with Joan Fontaine and Gregory Peck. What a weeper. The ending always brings me to tears. The award-winning 1950s film. At this point, the good easier stream is evidence in the lawsuit. <laughs> I think you can. Not like names of any copyright nature, and they're public and known celebs. Yeah, I, 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 I think there is some grounds for that, but I, I think it's mainly just the issue of your name actually being like used and integrated in a work like that, without your knowledge. Like nor normally, you have to like, I, oh, you have to sign off and stuff like that. Because if that, <laughs> like, if Neil Gaiman's pissed at this game, even the Oscar for best you'd be picture. able to like request it out or something. You know, I think there is some legal precedent for all that. Wait, Genshin mention? <laughs> Maybe he did. The evolution of the most popular cartoon dog in history. I mean, if anyone's, if any corporation's going to be upset, then, you know, it might be a good old Dosney land here. So maybe we don't worry about it. So His many films. His macho one-liners might sound a little outdated nowadays, but man. <laughs> Bogart as Doc Wolf is film history. Oh yeah, I grew tired of the Barry and Slim slapstick movies quickly. But the serious film they did was good. The adaptation of one of H.A. Ryan's horror novels. This cool is actually just so much to interact with. So I, I've like completely forgotten even what my objective was. I think I'm supposed to be helping Trevor or something. Uh, but I've just gotten sidetracked. Uh, yeah, let's check I've out, never ridden check out this the gift thing, shop. But according to my research, the access to the luggage scanning area is inside there. Check out the gift shop. Nice souvenirs. Our bag. Got anything in here? <laughs> I just walk behind the counter here. Hey, miss. You can't enter here. Sorry. Exit only. Must ride Oops. Thunder Mountain. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> Did you say her suitcase would stand out? It's literally from the gift shop. Yes, actually. That's, that's, that may not be the best choice. Right, we gotta, we gotta ride this. I go to Speedway entrance. I get the fast pass. Oh. 
Let's see what this ride is all about. Hop on. You must survive Splash Mountain before you can get your luggage. Welcome to Elijah Walton's Dream of Tomorrow. Embark on a journey to discover how the greatest creative genius of the 20th century envisioned and built Arcadia. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle and supervise Feet and children. legs. Minnesota? Elijah Walton was born in 1900 in a small rural community of Minnesota. Influenced by his favorite author, Jules Verne, young Elijah dreamed of being a novelist or a scientist, but he ended up working in the film industry instead. That's him working away. After working as a scriptwriter in Hollywood in the 30s, Elijah and his brother Donald founded their own company, Walton Pictures. Together, they produced many successful box office hits, some of which are now considered timeless classics. But oh, we have like the Neil game and uh, animatronic in here. Beyond the movie theater. And his wishes were ultimately fulfilled when television arrived in all the living rooms in America. Architects of tomorrow. Science always finds a way. And what a way that was. Broadcast in Visiorama, the innovative 3D audio and video system, Architects of Tomorrow became oh, a gosh. TV show every Saturday night in the 1950s. The show was famous for its unique songs, its combination of live action and animation, and the closing goodbye message from Elijah Walton in his prototype electric car, known as the Walton Mobile. It's like a banana car. So we're higher than ever before. After success, Walton Pictures, now known as Walton Media, decided to undertake its most ambitious project. The acquisition of a huge piece of land in the Midwest to build the city of tomorrow. A city named Arcadia. So we just want real estate at this point. Along with Walton's right-hand man and Architects of Tomorrow host, Arpad Kovacs, the first prototype of the Arcadia project began construction. This small prototype community is known today as Classic Arcadia or Old Arcadia. I, I just really want to get my bags, you know? I just want to check in and, like, brush my teeth. God, it's been, like, a 12-hour flight to get here. I just really need a shower. ...seeing his magnum opus finished. On June 3rd, 1963, the world of entertainment mourned the loss of the most creative and talented mind of the 20th century. It's not Donald century. Duck. Oh, what about when Kovacs was kicked to the curb? Hmm? Don't you have an animatronic for that? Overcoming his grief for the loss of his brother, Donald Walton took the reins of the company. Under his guidance, Project Arcadia was finished on schedule. American Arcadia's premiere is still the second most watched event in American television history, just after the Apollo 11th movie. Jesus <laughs> Christ. And the first Arcadia residents didn't even know their private lives were being sold and broadcasted. The success of the show attracted so many new residents to the city that old Arcadia soon became too small. It was evident that a larger, broader, and more modern city was needed. And thanks to the cooperation between Walton Media and Senator Milton Burbank, the Burbank Act was approved, so Arcadia grew and expanded to the size that Elijah Walton had always envisioned. You are omitting the tiny detail that the small print of the Burbank Act allowed Walton Media to lock people up as if they were inside a damn zoo. Kovac, you shouldn't say that so loud. They probably have cameras everywhere. An immense retrofuturistic metropolis inside a weather-controlled dome where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24-7 for more than 55 seasons. Oh god, wait, there's Twitch chat. <laughs> <laughs> mm, but it's a negative growth now, Vivian dear. Chat is on the story, screen. You're ready to begin your journey. Soon you'll be accessing your entry checkpoint. It's you, Arcadia. the As viewer. Speak, your luggage is being carried straight to your hotel. Oh, there goes my bag. Suitcase. 
I'll have to get into that room. I hop out of here. Father Elijah Walton had a dream to build the city of tomorrow, a dream that my great uncle Don continued. Now it's up to me, Vivian Walton, to keep that dream alive. But this dream wouldn't be a reality if it weren't for you. Because you truly are my grandfather's dream. You I gotta I gotta run back in there. You truly are my grandfather's dream. Shut your pie hole, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, how do we how do we, how do we break it? Like language. Lawyers only. Here's the exit. This just takes us back around here. Architects of tomorrow. Here's just like some extra props. Uh, uh, no, it's not working. I interact uh, with this. No, it's not working. Override control. There's another door down here. This must be the cast member's room. The red light indicates an animatronic malfunction. The red light indicates an oh, animatronic malfunction. Use your key to activate the manual override. Select the ride section where the problem is. Enter the animatronic number from the selected section. A red light in every section will immediately stop the ride. If the ride stops, the ride doors will open. Okay, so I need I need to engineer it so uh, the ride stops. Oh, an attraction always loses a bit of its charm when you see how it works from inside. <sighs> Not this one. Didn't have any charm to begin with. Okay, give me give me that key. Haha. <laughs> this must be the key for the manual override. Okay, so uh, take the key, select the ride section where the problem is, enter the animatronic number from the selected selection. Let's try this out. So, uh, can I... ...cause a malfunction? Two, seven, one, two. It was two, seven, one, two on this. Turn that off. I need to see if there's like more codes. I can see a bit of one there. That's one eight on three. And then the first one, I'm not getting much of anything at the moment. Can you move the cameras at all? I, I, I don't think I can. No, I can't. I'm not gonna have to ride it again, am I? There might be something in... Oh, there might be something in the other room across here. Six seven one one. Broken animatronic from the first section of the ride. Its number is six seven one one. Okay, so we can use that. Six seven. Turn that off. Okay, so we just have to figure out what one this is. Ride it again. No, I'm not doing that. Six seven one one. The cast member that was blocking access to the ride seems to be busy with something else. Can I hop out and maybe see something?
can't just hop in here. I don't, I don't want to ride it again. Brute force it. There's only like, a, yeah, there's only a hundred combinations. He's just letting us out. Do I have to find like her mannequin or something? She might be out here somewhere. Have a one in a hundred chance. Just having a look in case it's something. I'm not I'm not seeing like another version of her. I might just have like a serial code on it. Eerily quiet. I mean, we're, we're just we're just chilling in Disneyland. Hey, how's it going? One of these mugs was in my AA welcome pack. I neck. Maybe there's a number on one of these. Existed. How's it going, gang? Any more mugs I can pilfer? Another one of those American Insider. High praise for AA. Well, the captivating world behind the scenes of the acclaimed TV show American Arcadia and delve into its intriguing mix of drama and entertainment. Atom 74. Just scan the barcode, duh. The only one I'm not sure of, it's something 18. I'm just not sure where you're supposed to get it. Maybe you can guess it from the other two numbers. QR code on your badge might be others to look out for, too. Maybe. <laughs> you wanna start going one by one? Till we get it? So bad it puzzles my sympathies, Dad. No, you're good, you're good. I just don't see where it's actually supposed to be. Chair in the deactivated one had seven as the second number. Look at her statue in the main area. I didn't see her statue. American Arcadia. You mean like the Mount Rushmore one all the way over here? And run. Only a megalomaniac like Vivian would order her face to be carved in stone. Nothing on the back. It's gotta be zero, zero, zero. <laughs> Oh, here's their stats it's as well. It's highly recommended for all Walton Media employees to install the AA app. It's also highly recommended for all Walton Media employees to give the AA app a five-star rating. Highly recommended. Erzy, thanks for your thousand bits. I messaged Neil Gaiman about the posters. <laughs> Please. Please do not do that. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get like this, this like, like dev game developer into legal trouble because they put Neil Gaiman in. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Boy from Minnesota.
Uh, I, I genuinely don't know where, how you're supposed to get the answer to the code. Help me out here, chat. Like, am, am I missing something? The only thing I can see is 7-4. Is there something in here that I missed? Hundred percent, Walton. You just another Walt Media employer. Are you a hundred percent? Oh God. Is there something clean code and zero bugs? Artificial intelligence gems three. Get the trash can. Oh, there we go. Okay. God, I I wouldn't have spotted that. Thank you. 9518. That would have taken me forever to find. <laughs> I managed to sabotage the ride. Good. It wasn't worth the wait anyway. <laughs> Don't mind me, gang. I, let me just run in here. Ugh. Silent animatronics give me the creeps. You love Walt Disney. He's kind of menacing. You brute force it, whatever. I already would have gotten the 9518, oh, just saying. I have to crawl inside that duct. Oh, look at this little fella. No, no way. After everything it took for me to get in here, I am not going out through the emergency exit. Okay, through the vent. It's gonna be an actual stealth game at this rate. First person too. New Dishonored's looking wild. Hey, luggage room. Hmm, my luggage info might be on my Arcadia e-ticket. Better check my phone. Uh, car ten, seat twenty-two. Luggage, one item. AA3. N22? It's 10.30. AA3, so this is the area. What organizing system are they using? Is it? Nothing in here. <laughs> nope. Wrong locker. It's gotta Still be one of them. Damn it, where did they put my suitcase? It's gotta be in one of them. Let's nope. just launch Wrong a search. Locker. It's not in here. Nothing in here. Oh wait, no, the these are times, are they? Hang on. Departure eleven forty five. That's AA four, so it's in AA three. It's over here somewhere. Nope. Wrong locker. It's not in here. Damn, Curse your efficient organization, case? Disney. Nothing in here. It's not in here. Wait, no, it'd be it'd be a rival. Nope. Yeah, no, it was. Wrong Sorry. It's the wrong section. Think. Eleven forty-five. Nine. No, it can't be. It can't be. There it is. Okay, I'll leave the badge inside. Let's hope I could get Trevor to the Cygnus in time. And then, out of Arcadia. Here's some clean shirts for you as well, I'll Trevor. I'll talk to you in three days. He's blind. Trevor? Look, we got Trevor, there. Can you hear me? Huh? The coast is clear. Out of there, now. 
Jeez, that took a long time. I almost fell asleep inside that cart. You need to get into Sorry, the Trevor, I was having a massive flashback sequence. So you can grab the badge. And make sure no one sees you without it. Hop on down here. No one's gonna give us any trouble. What what room number were we again? It's nine ten, right at the end. Hey, there's an auto droid in here. Yeah, individual. it's preparing the room. Just Please ignore it. I need to turn the insta delivery device on. I'm sure it's this fine. This machine is supposed to bring your suitcase here, right? Yes. Look at the bed. Jesus Christ. Hang on. We can we can lock him in the bathroom. Oh, stop turning everything off. Can I lock him in? Please stop turning on devices. Turning off. Room is not ready. Turning off. Room is not. Please stop turning off. Okay, if I turn off uh, everything else. Yeah, hang on. Room is not ready yet. Turning off. Room is not ready yet. Please stop turning on devices. Oh, stop turning Turn everything room off. Room is not ready yet. God, I hate this stupid Turn robot. Please stop He's not gonna do it. Oh, stop turning, turning off. everything off. The car. The car. I'm supposed to block the door. Hang on. Knock it off, Wally. Not letting me do the bathroom anymore. Uh, it's actually not letting me change. Please, this is not your room. Leave immediately. You see that? It's actually not letting me target the bat room. Please wear your badge immediately or leave the room. Unidentified individual. Please wear your badge or leave the room. It's already on, you broke it. Out of view of the camera, it's not. This is not your room. Leave immediately. Room is not ready yet. Turning off device. Turning off. Please stop. Oh, stop turning turning off. everything off. It's not letting me. God, I hate this stupid robot. I can't move it. I, I think I have to reload it. I think it's actually broken. Yeah, restart from checkpoint. Let's just try that again. Trevor, Trevor, can you hear me? Only had one chance to turn off that light. Is clear. Out of there now. Jeez, that took a long time. I almost fell asleep right, inside Trevor. that cart. You need to get into the luxury suite at the end of this hallway so you can. I didn't expect you to mess up this and make badly. Sure no one sees you without it. <laughs> We got it alarmingly wrong. Okay, let's just try that again. Should be able to get it this time. Hey, there's an auto droid in here. Unidentified yeah, individual. it's preparing the room. Just Please ignore it. I need to turn the insta delivery on device on. Turning off. Oh no. No. I'm trapped. That. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great idea, Trevor. <laughs> That's what I call teamwork. Pretty, pretty distressed yeah. about it. Although I kind of feel guilty about that poor dr Shouldn't the luggage be here already? No, no, no. You didn't use the badge to access your room, so technically you're not inside the room yet. And that's why I need to manually redirect my suitcase through the Insta delivery card. It's, it's okay, Kovacs. I don't need to know every detail. It's just that this plan is getting a little confusing. Ah, just leave it to me, okay? I, g give me a second. <laughs> the room! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you, you tacky, hideous suitcase? This is to open and close that. Hmm. 
This changes the direction of the conveyor belt. Oh god. Oh, there it is. I have to reroute the conveyor belt to get it to the suite. Let's see. Where 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 is my case? Send it along there. Uh, open that barrier to there. Uh. This switch rotates this thing. Change that to over here. That sends it to D. Oh, where is it gone? Did anyone see it? <laughs> I've lost sight of the bag. Okay, there it is. Right there. No, I saw it when it was on that. I lost sight of it for a moment. It was when I was changing cameras. You guys need to chill. Some of you are not very nice. Gra Grandpa's losing his vision again. I was a bit slow to say I've lost sight of the bag. But I did find it. So it's fine. Right. You open that barrier. Send it back. There we go. Ah, I think I figured it out. Okay. And it's here. Here is your luggage, mister. Okay, I got the badge. Finally! That aggravating hunk of metal was a real pain in the ass! You mean the badge or the droid? Yeah, let's, let's check in. Hang on, should, should we free him? Welcome to your room, Miss Lauren. Enjoy now, your Trevor, go to the elevator Arcadia. on the left side. Oh, he's happy Ooh, now. Six. He'll be exiting Whatever. the city soon. Okay, to the elevator. He's calmed down now, yeah, while, while he's okay. I get back to the elevator here. What do you do, fellow Arcadians? Hello. Hello. Hey, you in Group 6, pal? A PA called Group 6 to the bus stop just a few minutes ago. Oh, really? Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, and by the way, I have to say your look is amazing, man. Straight from the good old 70s. Ah, <laughs> thank you. So, like, these guys are just tourists that are here. Well, because it's... No, is everyone here a tourist? No, no, like, not everyone's a tourist. Some of these people are just, like, living in Arcadia. These guys are tourists, though. Good old seven. And they're supposed to like act. Shut your mouth. What year are we in? We're in 2023. We're in the future? My god. Oh, your voice, damn it. It's Arcadia that's in the past. It's always been the flying cars now. Have a nice day in Arcadia, sir. Thank you, but I'm afraid today is my last day in the city. Oh, we're so sorry to see you leave, but please come back soon. Trevor, what are you doing? You planning on becoming BFS with the clerk? Let's strike up a conversation. Polite. What is being polite an old-fashioned custom in 2023 or what? Well, actually, uh. Group six, please, uh, come to the backyard bus stop. Group six. Group six, please come. 
I'm, I'm, give me a moment. <laughs> hey, aggressive over the intercom. I'm on my way. Take just a minute. Look, Here's our Trevor, bus. It's almost over. There's the bus. Don't do anything stupid. Just get on and zip your trap until we reach the checkpoint. Oh, the bus broke down. Group six? Group six, please. Uh, with me, here. I I know we were supposed to be leaving in a few minutes, but uh, there seems to be some sort of last minute problem with our bus. Uh, but don't worry, our good friend Antonio is gonna try to fix it, and I am sure we will be on the road in a jiffy. So uh, don't worry, folks. I guarantee you we will make it to the central station in time. Oh, no way, you gotta be kidding it's me. It's terribly inconvenient. They found him. Oh, let's see. Hang on, wait, where's my phone? Hello? Kovacs. Who are you? How did you get this number? This is Breakout speaking. I am number six. Listen carefully. The chief of security is headed to your office right now. He will be there. Uh oh. <laughs> my office? B but what's going There is no time. Listen. Act casual and try to answer everything calmly. Avoid mentioning any kind of involvement with Trevor Hills. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> let me, let me just turn off remember. this computer monitor. We're counting on you, Kovacs. Hey, everybody. So, uh, I have some good news and some bad news. Uh, which one do you guys want first? Okay, the bad news is that the bus carrying us to Arcadia Central Station is definitely out of order. I don't, I don't yeah, I turn off the monitor. The good news is that you get some extra free time until a new bus comes. <laughs> you get to do some sightseeing. It's oh, amazing. that's amazing. Oh, I, know, I, know, I know, folks, I am, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, uh, but I will see you on the other side of Memory Lake. So please make your way over there and just wait for the new bus to come. Hello, Kovacs. I can see one of the... Beastie guys, and he's looking for someone. No, 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 Damn it, what do I do? Move, Trevor, stay hidden. Oh, God. Hello. My name is Marcus Javert, Arcadia's chief of security. My job? To make sure nobody leaves Arcadia. My means? Whatever I can or analyze. Both are fine, but uh, most people call me Angela. <laughs> Let's proceed. Um, <clears throat> may I ask? Wait, did the stream blip? Marcus killed us. Did it blip? I, I, I didn't have anything on my end. I have no drop frames. Was it, was, was it a Twitch moment? We're good? Uh, I can restart from the checkpoint. Hang on, just just so we don't miss anything. If you'll excuse me, I have a few questions yeah, here we to are. ask. Uh, of course, yeah, no problem. Who are you talking to, Miss Solana? Is your name pronounced Angela or Angela? Both are fine, but uh, most people call me Angela. Fine. Angela. Let's proceed. Um, oh, this yes. is really stressful Why? controlling Trevor while the interview is going on. Information is classified. All I can say is we're facing an extremely exceptional situation, and exceptional situations call for exceptional. Need that guy to move. Right now, I'm gathering information from all Walton stage technicians. <sighs> so, is this like a? An no, 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 no. <laughs> what are you doing then? Uh oh. Uh Sorry, I'm just playing a video game. <laughs> You're at Baldur's Gate. Huh? I have a few questions to ask. Uh, uh, of course, no, yeah, no problem. Who are you talking to? Miss <laughs> Solano. Is your name pronounced Angela or Angela? Both are fine, but uh, most people call me Angela. Your name fine. Is Angela? Let's proceed. Um, <clears throat> may I ask why you're... I'm afraid that information is classified. All I can say is we're facing an... Extremely exceptional wait for this situation, guy. and exceptional situations call for exceptional measures. Right now, I'm gathering information from all Walton stage technicians. So, is this like a an interrogation, or...? Think of it more as a loyalty test, if you will. 
I'll read you the questions out loud. Please select whichever answer best represents your views. I'll display the possible answers for you on the monitor to your right. Oh, no. I'm loading the app now. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, just just loading the questions. Yeah, uh, sorry, it's a bit slow sometimes. I've got the best GPU, According you know. You, which one of the following is or has been the most influential figure in Arcadia? Well, it's got to be uh, like Walton. Elijah Walton. A revealing answer. I'll make note of that. Revealing. What do you mean by that? Loading the next question. Please stay silent. Come on, Trevor. Okay. Which one of the following images best describes your five years, eight months, and seven days of work at Walton Media? Uh, confined, uh... Well, we, we, which describes my, my job? You know, well, it's, a. Uh... am waiting for your answer. The party balloons. Interesting. Have a great time here. Loading the next question. Come on, Trevor. What does the initiative known as Breakout mean to you? Uh, Breakout, well, that's an evil organization. They are a dangerous activist group that threatens Walton Media's interests. Are you sure you want to answer that? You can change your answer if you'd like. I'm pretty confident. No, I want to keep my answer. A controversial opinion, definitely. Loading the next question. These guys won't move. Come on, Trevor. Refrain from selecting the image that does not match your personal preferences or likings. What? What? Wait, refrain from selecting the image that does not match your personal preferences. I uh, soda, you know. At the screen. The sugary drink? I don't think you understood what I was asking you. Right there. It's Trevor Hills. Send the drone. <laughs> Trevor, no! Oh, Trevor! What's going <laughs> God, on? God, it's so jarred. I don't think I understood the question. This is a poorly phrased question, Trevor. <laughs> His monitor's is taking a while. Yeah, sorry, we have to use all like our NVIDIA like 1080 RTX to mine crypto in the server room. We couldn't spare any for the office computers, you know. It's really old. Like we're gonna be here a while. Uh <laughs> Please indicate which one of the following patterns you consider the easiest to recognize. Oh, it's gotta be, it gotta be this. The red and blue berry and slim pattern. Okay. Oh, just one thing before the final question, Miss Solana. If you lied to me, Trevor, answers, Trevor's having a hard time. I will know. The water's just not rising. I think Trevor's just dead. I think Tre There's no water. Did it soft lock again? It might have. <laughs> it's having some trouble. There you go. I you now, Miss Solano. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's not Please my fault. Which one of the following? Yeah, that's what it was supposed to be doing. To recognize. Oh, this. 
the yellow and orange comet pattern. Okay. Oh, just one thing before the final question, Miss Solana. If you drone to my position. <laughs> I was worried it wasn't gonna activate. You better have an explanation for this. This game is really fun, but yeah, it unfortunately is a bit buggy. He's never gonna make it. He's never gonna make it. Does Subject 10392 clear text Trevor Hills mean anything to you? Isn't Subject 10392 Oh, come on, that's so mean! Oh. That's so mean! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> This is really stressful, like multitasking. Does subject 10392 clear text Trevor Hills mean anything to you? Oh yeah, Trevor. Yes, he's in my assigned citizen's grid. You remember the name of a single citizen of the 712 that you have been assigned? Interesting. <laughs> That's uh, because I have a good memory and... Uh... Go Trevor. That's it. We're finished. It's been a really productive session. I'm sure everything's uh, okay. fine. D uh, did, did I pass the test or? I will contact you again as soon as I have verified the results. I'm sure it's fine. And I will be watching you, Miss Solano. Hey, Javier, you ever played Baldur's Gate? <laughs> 11, you gotta check 12, out these graphics, you know? 13, 13. Whatever. As long as you have a badge with the right number, the more the merrier. We are leaving now. Into the bus, please. Oh. Okay, I'm back, Trevor. So, is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. What was that all about? Well, they suspect me now. I'm not sure if he busted me, but... I don't know. We better I feel like I may get the bad ending. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I guess it's... Angela? Yeah, it is. Angela Solano. The truth is, I really outdid myself in concealing my identity. But once Trevor had heard my real voice and my real name, what sense did it make to keep using an alias? Oh no, she's eventually caught. Okay, she's given the six. interview. Please go ahead and get into the bus. I don't know if there's a way where like you can avoid <clears throat> that. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> uh, welcome to the Arcadia Central Station Checkpoint. Uh, as you know, after so many years of requests, Arcadia, the city of tomorrow, uh, is finally opening to the regular public. This entrance behind me is not only the first of many access points for all our visitors, it is a gate to Utopia either by visiting its iconic landmarks or strolling through its magnificent avenues and parks, every visitor will now be a part of American Arcadia. And our brand new security measures will guarantee the well-being of our visitors and that of all the Arcadian-born citizens. Don't mind the We're drones making sure with, that with handguns they can safely all enjoy them. the posthumous work of my brother, Elijah Walton. And we're hoping they take in all that this wonderful city suspended in time has to offer. Thank you. Uh, any questions? <clears throat> yes. Mr. Walton, is it true that these new security measures are related to the incident known as the Arcadia 6 breakout? Um, <clears throat> I, uh... I, I won't be addressing any uh, questions related to unfounded <laughs> rumors. So, uh, but I will be crystal clear about this. Nobody in his right mind would want to leave a city like Arcadia. 
you know what? The, the press conference is over. Thank you. <laughs> okay, folks, we are finally here. Not, not this much is of a the conference. Arcadia Central Station. Uh, my name is Rita, and I was your tour guide today. Please have a safe trip home. We all oh, to finally. Really You're gonna make it. Uh, Mr. Wall, what do you yeah, have to say about like people it. leaving the city? This conference is I'm over. I'm scared, to be honest. What am I gonna find out there, Angela? <laughs> oh, well, uh... The world outside is not that different. Just uh, more modern and uglier. Much of the technology you already know from here also exists out there. You know, shared cars, cleaning bots, flying drones, we have all those. We also have something like Adanet, but with no restricted content, of course. What else? Um, we waste our lives looking at screens, but that's not too different from you guys, is it? Holy cow. That's a bit of a bit of a meta commentary there. I'm not sure if there is even a reason Remember to get out of here the way you put it. Badge at there all is times. one really good reason to get out. You've lived Please all your life moving. inside a gilded cage. And for the first time, you're gonna be completely free. Yeah. That is a valid point. <laughs> Definitely. But like, well what's what's Trevor gonna do when he gets Everything out? Everything was going fairly well, all things considered. I thought I was really close to getting out, but, of course, I didn't know about the jingle back then. What? <laughs> do you... do you hear that noise, by the way? It sounds like... like an air raid Remember siren in the distance or something. It's all times. really annoying. Huh, no, I don't hear anything. Thank you for visiting really? Arcadia. It's pretty loud. Don't pay any attention Please to it, Trevor. Just get through the I, I and leave. do not hear it either. Please remember that you are the required jingle. <laughs> to wear your access badge to exit through the checkpoint. Thank you for visiting Arcadia. From Arcadia to anywhere in the world, the faster Jesus, way home. Sound sir, please. unbearable. Next, please. Keep going, Trevor. We're really close. You'll be in a train outside Arcadia in a few steps. What? I'm, I'm not feeling too well. What is happening? Trevor? Trevor, come on, move. It was a nightmare. Take the worst headache and the worst dizziness you've ever had, smash them together, multiply them by ten, and you still wouldn't come close. Then the security guy says to me, Next, please. But I couldn't move. And if that wasn't enough, Angela says to me in the earpiece, Trevor, Trevor, come on, move. I can't take a step just can't! Are you feeling all right, sir? Yes! I just... need a... <sighs> Security, please, come immediately. We might have a breach at Gate B in lane 15. Uh -oh. And then I see a six-foot-tall guy with a menacing look come up to me and say... Oh, Subject no! Subject <laughs> 10392, clear text Trevor Hills. You are violating the Burbank Act. Title 2, Section 11. Unauthorized exit attempt from an enclosed or restricted area. No, 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 no. You are no, also Trevor, violating get the, the hell out of there. I'm no. devastated to see him, but damn, his voice is good. I can't. Listen, if you can't move forward, then go back. But you gotta move now. I can't. Trevor, do what I say, Goyo. 10392, stay right where you are. Subject 10392 is attempting escape. Initiate interception protocol. Interceptors. Get the oh, here they come. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Until then, interceptors were an urban legend. A high-tech security force in Arcadia with a really cool sci-fi code name. It all started with the infamous leaked Arcadia 6 picture, you know? That one that Walton Media has always denied to be true. The guy in the back was believed to be an interceptor. Most people just referred to him as the Tackleberry. Because he looked like that guy from the Police Academy movies. <laughs> you know, helmet, sunglasses, leather jacket, and all that. Anyway, I have sure. worked in Walton Media for eight years, and I never saw or heard a thing about those guys. As I said, it was just an urban legend. Until now. Because the Interceptors were real. And they really looked like Tackleberry. And they were chasing Trevor, who now had to run a hundred meter dash while feeling like complete shit. I haven't seen Police Academy in years. <laughs> 10 Go, Trevor! Stop running! Angela! Angela! What? Yeah, I'm feeling better. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling better. Oh, that's good. Hey, you didn't see. Uh oh. What? Ah! 
Oh, who left all these boxes? The tail of subject 10392. Why do why do these guys keep calling me 103? 103 something. It's your citizen ID. But what? This is no time for questions, damn it. Just run. Keep going, Trevor. Uh, Trevor, you any good at dodging traffic? <laughs> I feel like this is gonna get worse before it gets better. Wait, 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 what are you? Was it just get on the van? Oh no, I'm supposed to let him drive. This is bad. Back to the station. Go back to the station. Back to the station. Are you crazy? Just do what I tell like, you. Fair play to Trevor. This, this is a very hard maneuvers to pull off. I may not say he's that fit, but it is hard to climb and do parkour over this much. to the station. Interceptor unit B. Shit, they're coming from the escalators. Hey, yeah, I see the subject. Proceeding to intercept. Go, Trevor. <laughs> Slow him down. <laughs> the elevator, hurry up. N392, stop this nonsense. Oh god, wait, he's right there. <laughs> he's right. Shit, they're coming from the escalators. A little unfair. Hey. Yeah, I see the subject. Proceeding to intercept. The elevator, hurry up! 10392, stop this nonsense and oh, surrender! Now! I can't come on. Then go back, but you gotta move now! Here we go, come on, Trevor! Keep running. Uh, horrific statue, whatever that is. Whoa. Evening. Ten three ninety two. Stop running. Ten three ninety two is escaping through the roof. Get him. My God, they don't have like guns outside of the drones for some reason. Go on, Trevor. Oh, no. Down the slope, down the slope. Uh, Go on, Trevor. Time to dodge some traffic. Go on, Trevor. It's not helpful right now. You're going to get killed. No, 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 no. Great, Trevor, you're halfway there. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. Uh, uh, I hate my life. Come on, Trevor. You're a great Trevor. What happened back there, Angela? I, I couldn't move with that noise. I don't know, man. I wasn't expecting that. I, I you gotta hide for a while until I come up with something. I just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Look, I have an idea, Angela. Blue Fountain Mall is right there. I used to spend a lot of time in there when I was a kid. Mall? Are you sure that that's a? Looks like I don't have much of a choice anyway. I'm gonna go hide in GameStop, yeah, you're, you're Angela. Right. They'll never find me there. Make our way inside. Hey, 
Help me with that door, Angela, would you? Yeah, just a second. What the? Uh oh. Whatever. Shit! They blocked my computer. I I, I don't know what. Uh... Oh, hey, Jean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me too. I I can't do a thing. On Earth, what? Who are you talking to? Lockdown. Really? Oh, uh, what happened? Oh, that's bad. Okay, <laughs> oh no, they're on to her. Yeah, I'll, they'll tell us how to proceed. <laughs> Trevor, I need to go. I gotta find another place where I can connect and, and... Don't worry, Angela. Take your time. I'll be safe in the Skyrocket Arcade. Oh, yeah, yeah she's wait, just gonna wait, go wait, play you games a while. Inside an arcade? Not inside the arcade. They have a covered sit-down Spectrex cabinet there. That's where I plan to hide. I can play that thing for hours on just one quarter. Whatever suits you, man. I'm buying whatever Ah, right perfect. <laughs> no I'm at the Spectrex cabinet. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine in here. Okay, Trevor, just stay in. I'm just gonna play some Gran Turismo. I'll be we'll be all right. Season. Hey, Kendra, what's up? This is a message for all Walton Media employees. Due to an unexpected breach of security, we have proceeded to activate the lockdown protocol. When called by your last name, please come immediately to the building entrance for all your digital devices to be scanned for security reasons. Thank Can you. you believe it? Yeah, someone's escaping from Arcadia. That's that's really crazy. And an insider is helping him. One of us. They get the chance to work for Walton Media in the greatest achievement that has ever happened in entertainment. And they want to boycott it? Because why? Yeah. God, you have to be out of your mind. Yeah, right. I mean, the other things Walton did are okay, but between you and me, Angela, black and white movies, cartoons for kids. But American Arcadia? There is nothing like it. Others have tried to replicate it to create something like this. They got reality shows instead. But this is no reality show, Angela. American Arcadia is the most advanced sociological experiment ever conducted. It has uh -oh. changed the way we perceive society and even... <laughs> is everything okay? Huh? Uh, yes, it's... I really have to get going, Kendra. I hope everything is solved by tomorrow morning. You know, right? Okay, see ya. Yeah, love that Arcadia. Now, who needs human rights anyway? She was repeating the same corporate bullshit she gave me on the first day on the 21st floor. Okay, preserve my admin permissions. Preserve my admin permissions. Jesus H. Christ, how am I going to do that? Cafeteria will have services some. will be monitored, so I can't upload it to the cloud. Okay, uh, what else then? Come on, come on, come on, Angela, think. You gotta come up with something. And suddenly, that Architects of Tomorrow episode just pops into my head. Steganography. Oh. A word that comes from combining the Greek term steganos, which means covered or hidden, and graphos, which means writing. Let's take a look at this <laughs> image behind me. You probably won't distinguish anything, but if we see the image through our red lens, everything in it suddenly makes sense. And that's what steganography basically is. Concealing a message within another message, or, as we've just seen, an image in another image. There are many examples of how... Yeah, like Disney, uh, image, Bill Nye text, is here. Or even a song. Who knows? Maybe this song has a secret message encoded in it, too. Because, as you can see, steganography is science. And as we know, science always finds a way. If you have a secret and don't want to reveal it, <laughs> steganography can be used to conceal it. And that's the lesson we've learned today. Because science always finds a way. I got it. Thanks, Bill. I need to convert my admin permissions into hexadecimal code and then hide it in a non-digital source. A sequence of images. Of course. Hmm. Any VHS tape will do the trick. Um, I need a VHS tape. Okay, where, where am I gonna get like a video? Uh, anyone, anyone got like an old like copy of Bambi on uh, VHS or something? I got like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Uh... I'm obsessed with American Arcade, the ultimate retro experience, and DJ Zoo's music has the perfect touch of to the city of tomorrow. 
Someone just left their pizza. There's or nothing in the Sabat. cafeteria. Or Sabat. I don't know how to pronounce that. Come to the lobby exit. Uh, what have we got? Recording studio. Damn it, everything's on, like, Blu-ray now. I hide it on, like, an Amazon Fire Stick. Uh, who is this guy? I barely know any employees on the first floor. It doesn't matter anyway. This guy's last this name begins video with a D. Room. I'm sure oh. he's not in the building to get in there to encrypt my cell phone data. The first two letters in our ID indicate our first and last names. Mine is A.S. They're calling the S's now. EB-21 blah blah must be long gone for sure. The voices, the voices are getting louder in my head. Whoa, ZW. <laughs> I bet this guy will be the last to exit the building. Okay, uh, can I get someone's ID? Something on the bookshelf? No, not seeing anything there. Gotta steal it from that guy. Good. Are they just... Good. Now I need to find Zeus Washington, Zeke Wasabi, or whatever this guy is, and clone his ID. Fernando Salcedo. We're waiting for you in the lobby exit. This is the lobby exit, is it? No, this is just the building exit. <gasps> so. They're calling all of us in alphabetical order to scan our cell phones and computers. Uh, Walton Media is getting really paranoid about this whole Trevor thing. Okay, he's, he's not going to be leaving for a while, so where, where do we think he is? I didn't check what he looked like. Was he in the cafeteria? Is this our man? This guy doesn't look like the guy in the no. ZW picture. This is not the ZW guy I saw in the picture. He might be on the toilet. Nope. This guy is not my Zoltan Waldorf. Zoltan Waldorf. There he is. I'm sure he's the hey, storage how's it going? room guy. There he is. I'm sure he's the storage room guy. Let me clone your ID real quick. And it's done. Don't I'm mind me. I'm proud about doing this to a Walton Media co-worker, but I really needed your credentials. Zazu, Waluigi. It's Mr. Waluigi. Tiffany Schneider. Come to the lobby exit. Actually, incredible. Okay, we need we need a VHS tape. To the video room. Whoever's in charge of keeping this area clear is doing an awful job. This is this is a nightmare. Could be a door oh. in here. Jesus, looks like a damn maze, and I hate mazes. How, how are we getting through this? Oh, there we go. Seymour, 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 oh, yeah, Seymour. Place. Very funny. Who's the wise ass? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I uh, apologize, Mister Seymour. I need a, I need a Hugh Jass to come to the phone. Hey, everyone, I'm looking for a Hugh Jass. I'm Hugh Jass. Oh, I hope this works. I hate squeezing into tight spaces. Rakim Sharp. Come to the lobby exit. This is a small recording studio for AA short stories and things like that. Not for the live feeds, of course. Lady Vivian would never lower herself to come down from her spire penthouse to record in here. That's how you know she's evil, because she's living in the spire. Uh, where is the tape? That we need video Evan? Oleg Siekskowski. Come to the lobby exit. Doing his best. I need a non-digital media to encrypt my data. Any VHS will do. I need a non-digital media to encrypt my data. Okay. Any VHS will do. Uh, what have we got? 
hours and hours of useless TV footage. Okay, this Comet VHS will do the trick. Mira, está en español y todo. Yes. So, let's get down to business. The blue screen shows the Comet tape digital data. Okay. And the so large I'm monitor displays the admin Do I need to learn hexadecimal? I need to oh, so God. I need to find the matching cell strings on both screens and then run a macro to hide my data inside the VHS tape. Okay. Click in a cell, uh, drag to select. Release? Oh, like that, is it? Okay. So I, I need to get the ones that match. Uh, is it just gonna be like position wise, or am I gonna have to scan like all of this? Ina Sokolova, please exit through the lobby door. C3? Doesn't match. Why aren't, why aren't those ones coming through? Um. Oh, because I need the 7D as well. Okay. So you gotta get like a little pocket of them. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Gotcha. Um. Okay. Am I looking for another one? Trying to see. Uh. Oh god, okay, so F1 is here, and F1 is down there. <sighs> B3 is in it, so F1 and B3 are in it. What if I just do that? F1, D5 is in it too. But it needs to be 3. Is there a 5B? There's 39. 13. There's 13. Damn, I must be doing something wrong. No? Do that one down. It just seems to be 3 in a row. F1 to F4. No, we don't have 13. No, we do have 13. That one should be correct. Uh, unless... 32 is in it as well. Okay, 1F is in it. D5 is in it. Is 50 in it? I don't know if I'm understanding it. Down to here? Oh. Oh, you're, you're trying to get it from left to right, I think. Hang on, I think I've got it now. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah, that, that took me a moment to work out what was happening. Um, FB, C5, E4, 80. 3BA3, 0541. Yes, yes, there we I go. Okay, now I was starting to get that by the end. Automatize the process and encrypt all my data into the VHS tape. Now I can totally wipe everything for myself. See you at home, admin permission. Is she following me or what? What a pain in the ass. Hey, how you doing, Kendra? What are you doing in here, Angela? Oh. Yes, Kendra. Nothing, I'm leaving. And what are you carrying there? Angela Solano, please. We're waiting for you in the lobby exit. Oh, sorry, they're calling me. I have to go. Talk to you later, okay? See you, Kendra. 
Can you give Waluigi his ID back? Angela Solano, please. Hey, I'm here. How's it going? Hey, Angela. ¿Qué pasó? What took you so long? Ah, uh, I had to finish something, Joe. Es mi turno, verdad? Bueno, claro que es tu turno. I called you twice. Put your phone in there and just go home, for Christ's sake. Okay, looks like you're good to go, Angela. Everything is clean. Hey, pero, what's up with the VHS tape, eh? You have all those comet shorts on the W Max platforms. Ah, well, doblaje puertorriqueño original. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's right. I forgot they redubbed it. A rights dispute with the voice actor, wasn't it? Yes. Wow, yeah, that's right, Joe. <laughs> bueno, te veo el lunes, ¿sí? Of course. Get some rest and see you next Monday, Angela. Uh, have a good weekend. <sighs> and then I went home to have a heart attack. Oh. Which took me a while, since I lived in the far side of Walton employee housing facilities. In fact, I thought about moving closer to the dome for the whole Trevor operation. But come to think of it, living so far away saved me a lot of trouble later. But I digress. The thing is, I finally got to my apartment. Meanwhile, Trevor Welcome is, like, home. still Into just running. <sighs> At last. Welcome home. Who's this little dude? To again to recover my admin permissions. And check on Trevor, too. Hello? Are you kidding me? Kovacs, this is number six. Did you manage to preserve your admin for- Shut up! <laughs> I stuck to the plan. I did everything you told me. And you- What the hell happened at the checkpoint? The jingle happened. The jingle? What? What? What on earth is the jingle? Something Kovacs mentioned a long time ago. The real Arpad Kovacs. Mr. Kovacs, were the discrepancies between you and Don Walton the main reason- a lot of world for this. This is cool, though. Kind of. Donald and the board of directors were interested in developing methods to make it physically impossible for the Arcadians to leave the city. They even wanted to experiment with my Visiorama system for their realignment techniques, as they called them, which I categorically refused to let them do. Probably that refusal had something to do with my departure from the company. What did these techniques consist of? The most popular was a low-frequency sound to generate reverse aversion in the Arcadians. They called it the jingle. Excuse me, Mr. Kovacs, but that sounds a little bit like science fiction to me. Uh -huh. And even if it were possible, wouldn't that be illegal? With the Burbank Act? I doubt it. Otherwise, how do you explain that nobody has left the city since the Arcadia 6 breakout? How come you guys didn't know about the jingle because it did not exist when we got out <sighs> damn it if trevor has that jingle thing in his head how so are basically it's like remember i asked you to preserve your they just can't crashes. make it you did that right there's You're a like there's a fridge humming essentially and it's really annoying use. rental car you mean like a swift yes now get him on the road in one of those cars, and as soon as Trevor hears that noise again... I take control of the car and get him across it, right? That is it. Whew, easier said than done, but I'll try my best. Good luck, Kovacs. We are counting on you. Hola, Tali. Que pasa, mi cielo? Please let me pet the cat. Please. Please. I can't move around the house without pampering her. Please let me pet her. ¿Quién es la más linda? ¿Eh? ¿Eres tú la más linda? Please. Let me make contact with the cat. The without pampering her. They'll have to patch that. They'll have to patch that so it's like a proper pet and animation. It's very important. The devs are here. Please. Loving the game. Please let me pet the cat. Absolutely vital. You know, there are 23,414 people unjustly imprisoned on U.S. soil. After I was moved to the 21st floor to work in AA, Breakout contacted me and handed me this pamphlet. Is that a real QR code? 
I've been seeing like quite a few. Hang on, let me. I'm gonna try scan this. Yes, it is. Okay, it just takes you to the dev's website. That's cute. That's actually cute. It is a real QR code. They made a game called Call of the Sea? It's cute. Why not just a Rickroll? I mean, there's actually been quite a few QR codes, so one of them might even be that. You know? We don't know. Oh, I miss my friends in Florida. My lucky dice. My collection of tabletop RPGs keeps growing, and I still haven't played half of these games. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. The classic 1985 Goblins and Gravestones basic rule set. This is great. They, they put a lot of flavor text into all these objects, too. Dive into Goblins and Gravestones, an action-packed tabletop role-playing game of magic, mystery, and adventure. Assemble your friends and create unique characters to explore the fantastical realm where heroes and villains vie for power and riches. Use the diverse races and classes based off against the monstrous foes while discovering ancient artifacts. Traverse the perilous catacombs beneath the city of Stone Crypt, while with the cunning goblin merchants in bustle and marketplaces. In this Grave Master Manual, there is all you need to play. Goblins and Gravestones offers endless excitement for players of all ages. Gather your party and let destiny unfold in this unforgettable adventure. Like, that's great. They don't need to add that much flavor text to, like, these objects, but they really oh, took their the time with it. The DPD series. Cop drama meets urban fantasy. Like, this is a full, like, DVD box set. But, like, a straight-up summary of this non-existent TV show. Divergent Police Department. The Evolution of Cooperation. By Robert Axelrod. Our Trevor escape master plan. <laughs> God, I hope no one comes into my apartment. Wait, Trevor gets out of the INAC, rides the monorail into the Grand Hotel. Trevor wears the badge, gets through the central station. See ya. Ta-da! Trevor is free. God, I hope no one looks in the window. How to explain? And this is all the post-it notes of the plot. Like, there's so much detail here. If someone here. ever saw these sticky notes, I'd be in big trouble. Yeah, probably. Maybe you shouldn't put them on the fucking window. Our Pad Kovacs' autobiography. No rational explanation. A strictly forbidden read according to all Walton Media employee regulations. I think there is text there as well. It's kind of hard to see. I wish there was a bit of an easier way to read that text, but that is, that is actual written text. Look at an eye test here. I look so happy in this picture of my first day in Walton Media. Ah, ignorance is bliss. Let's plug this in. Didn't even go upstairs, like there might have been more. There might have been more there. We'll have to check later. Trevor, I'm back. Get out of the cabin. We are good to go. Okay, one second. Yeah, TCH is back on top, baby. TCH? My high score initials. TCH, Trevor Clarence Hills. <laughs> Your middle name is Clarence? Yes, ma'am. Like the angel in It's a Wonderful Life. He does look like Dear a Clarence. Dear George, remember, no man is a failure who has friends. Fine. Trevor Clarence. Listen, we're going to- Wait, wait. Are, are you sure nobody's looking for me in here? You're completely unknown in this city. Let's take advantage of that, shall we? <laughs> like, I'm, the, I'm last words. literally your only viewer, Trevor. My fellow citizens, oh, no. please pay close attention to the man in this picture. This is 28-year-old Trevor Hills. What on earth? A resident of the Point Siena Drive District. This man is responsible for a serious incident that occurred today at 4.30 p.m. in the Arcadia Central Station. Lie number one. The serious incident in the Arcadia Central Station was me running for my life. 
Hills is a severely unstable individual and may represent a threat not only to himself, but to every other citizen of or visitor to Arcadia. Lie number two. I'm not severely unstable. Or, or at least I wasn't unstable at that time. And look at me, for God's sake. Who could I possibly represent a threat to? He's a threat to the water if supply in the office cooler. Please immediately report him to local authorities. We wouldn't resort to these extreme measures if it weren't absolutely necessary. But our priority is to ensure the well-being and stop this man. of everyone in Arcadia. Do you know how many staples he consumes to bind <laughs> his documents together on a daily basis? Lies in a row. She couldn't care less about our safety. That was exactly the reason why I was running. Vivian has declared that she made that statement to, and I quote, ensure Mr. Hill's physical well-being. Oh, of course. She described me as if I were the next Jack the Ripper to ensure my physical well-being. Give me a break. So it's half three at the oh morning when they're God. being interrogated, I'm so like, some, public enemy number one. something's amiss there. For now, make sure you're not seen. Damn, it's the Beastie Boys again. They've sent the interceptors. Hey, fellas. <laughs> Damn, it's the Beastie Boys again. Yeah, that wimpy guy has given us the slip a couple of times now. I told you they were gonna call in the cavalry. You don't see me. So why isn't the RoboCop army here in the mall? Yeah, they look too sci-fi for the average citizen. Not like us. What did I do to that horrible woman? She hates my guts. I told you, evil bitch suited her better. <laughs> That just caught us off guard a bit. It's Trevor Hills. Send the drone. Hey. Hey. Oh, shit. No. It's so quick. Damn, it's the Beastie Boys again. They've sent the interceptors. To get that wimpy guy? Yeah. That wimpy guy has given us the slip a couple of times now. <laughs> just like oh, open yeah. fire. Man's just wearing a sweater. Why the Robocop army here in the mall? Yeah, they look too sci-fi for the average citizen. We must kill Jim Carrey. What did I do to that horrible woman? She hates my guts! I told you evil bitch suited her better. Hexagon, any news about you? Hey, hey! Hexagon, elevator has stopped. Right there, it's Trevor Hills. Send the drone. Oh. <laughs> no, no, okay, so that's not it apparently. It's the Beastie Boys again. They've sent the interceptors to get that wimpy guy. Yeah, that wimpy guy has given us the slip a couple of times now. I told you they were calling. We'll figure it out. So why isn't the RoboCop army here? There the was an attempt. Yeah, they look too sci-fi. Driver, driver's doing his best. Not like us. What did I do to that horrible woman? She hates my guts. I told you, evil bitch suited her better. Hexagon, any news about Hills? Yes. Oh, okay, I see what you're supposed to do. Hang on. Getting out of the mall. Hey, hey! Hexagon, elevator has stopped. Reset now. Reset there now. we go. Damn it. Doesn't stop him. Uh, you gotta try not to be recognized somehow. Time to go shopping. Uh, grab those clothes, Trevor. Hey, you look just like Steven Spielberg. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Do you think this will do the trick? <laughs> Let's hope so. He's a famous director. Yeah, and Steven, if you're watching this, I hope you're okay with like your, your likeness being used here. <laughs> and your name. Did you know you directed a movie in this game's universe? I just waltz on out. Say, isn't that? Nah, doesn't fit the description. Steven Spielberg. <laughs> that guy looks like Steven Spielberg. Good, good. Nobody is paying attention to you now. Whew. 
That's a relief. Okay, Angela, what's the plan now? Oh, right, yeah. They're on to us. Okay, plan B. Aren't we already at C? Whatever. We need to get you into a rental car. Rental car? You mean like a Swift? You know I won't He's be able to lose if I hear the those noises, right? Don't worry about it. As soon as you hear them, just let me know and I'll get Plus back. two for the lawsuit. And what about after that? <laughs> through the dome's exit and congratulations you're a free man the dome what on earth is the dome oh wait let me guess i'm about to discover another one of arcadia's intricate lies right sort of your attention please this is a message from arcadia security forces we believe the fugitive trevor hills may be inside this premises it's the man this building is a complete lockdown Frame from leaving the blue fountain mall until further notice. Thank Let's you. just get going real quick. This constant jumping from the frying pan into the fire is exhausting. Get inside the parking garage, Trevor. I'll figure something out. Oh, look! They have a droid docking station there. I know I'm always asking, what is that? But what is that? A docking station allows a qualified stage technician with admin permissions to control and or manipulate whatever automated personnel is attached to it. Now I can control that droid would have been enough for me. Anything I can do here? What am I what am I what am I doing right now? There you go. There we go. Don't mind me, just an inconspicuous droid. Yeah, that box keeps just moving to car pickup area. Cover charge status cover door. We need a full battery to get to the edge of the dome. Looks like the one in the top right seems to be the only one with a full battery. Then take that one and let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's go, Trevor. Can I get a snack? Oh, oh, oh! Look at that car on the end! What? What? Something wrong with that red car? It's not a red car, Angela. It's a Sunlight Chrome Rush 166M. The most perfect work of engineering ever designed. And my favorite car. I don't know, man. All cars look alike to me. Uh, stay there while I bring your perfect work of engineering. Okay, hang on. So I need to... I need to get that car up there, I think. Is the idea? This is like traffic jam. It, it is a bit, um... Pop that on. Angela, didn't you say this car didn't have enough battery to reach the dome? I know, I know, I know, I know, but I need to let me handle this, okay? Just give me give me give me one moment, hang on. Okay, I need to put him all the way over to the other small car. Bring this over. Escape from Disneyland depends on this classic game of Traffic Jam. Otherwise, Trish will, well, Trevor will perish. There we go. Seems delightfully inefficient for the company. <laughs> Does a bit, doesn't it? Oh my, look at this sweet ride! 
shining aerodynamic lines, a masterpiece of craftsmanship that combines... I hate to interrupt your beautiful love story with an inanimate object, but we'd better get a move on. Sheesh. Fine. Yeah, that's fair. Let's get go. Uh, Angela? Yes? Can you tell me a little about that dome you mentioned earlier? Oh, yeah. That. Are we going to be able to control the, the car? Dome, oh, jeez, that's loud. Vivian Walton. And this is American Arcadia. Whew. Oh, my, oh, my. Looks like a storm is gathering. And no, I'm not talking about the three-day blizzard that the weathermen have predicted. Here in Arcadia, we're safe from all of that inside our precious weather-controlling dome. Thanks for that, Grandpa Elijah. What I'm talking about is something that some of you Tiffany'ers might already know. If you were one of the 2.6 million viewers who yesterday watched the passionate stolen kiss between supermodel Tiffany Amber Gaines and, oh boy, Steve Just's best friend, Logan Krakowski. <gasps> Oh my I God. guess that explains the argument they had last Sunday during the Adams game, huh? My Nasty Remark of the Week award goes to user AppleSphinx91, who posted, No wonder why Tiffany broke up with him. There's only one person Steve Just could actually fall in love with, and that is himself. Woohoo, <laughs> that what? burns. The polls are on fire. 34% believe Tiffany had every reason to give Steve the boot. But look at this. 58% and rising are in favor of the Tiffany Logan romance. Log in to your AA Live app now and let us know your thoughts. But we can't forget our loyal justifiers who are supporting their idol Steve Just and think that Tiffany and Logan's relationship is simply going nowhere. Oh God, no, 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 no! Good, good, still full. This is going smooth as silk. At this pace, we'll reach the dome exit in no time. Let's hope so. Okay, I'll drive Why the car now. Turn to a little music? Not at all. Are you listening to WABC? I'm invested in Trevor, but not these other people. There's a statement here somewhere. There's a commentary. You a justifier, or you a loganeer? Much better. What was the term for it? I I can't keep up with these people's lives. Oh come on, Angela. What? I had nothing to do with it this time. I swear. God, what have I done to deserve this torture? The song is everywhere. Enough already. Everybody loves Merle, man. Don't be a fool as a hit. Inside and outside are. Shit! 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 What? I can see five interceptor cars, and they're heading straight to the uh -oh. Arcadia Dome. Wait, you think they're coming after me? It's very likely. Uh, I have to think of something. Oh, someone's at the door. Hi, bendito. Now what? Uh, hang on, hang on, a mo, Trevor. Yes. Hello, Angela. It's Kendra. Can I come on? Oh, Kendra, not now. Um, I'm a little tied up right now, Kendra. I don't worry, it won't be long. I'm coming up. Ay, pero que quiera ahora? What's happening, Angela? <sighs> Kendra's coming up to my apartment, and there's like a ton of incriminating material uh -oh. here. Hey, who's Kendra? My stupid boss. Ha, Kendra, I better take that post-it do? note down. Get rid of any compromising material, Angela. I'll help you think from here. My escape plan. Do you have it written down somewhere visible? It's gonna take so long to take these post-it notes down one by one. Oh, it's gonna take me forever to get rid of these <laughs> sticky notes. Can't you just cover it all up somehow? Blinds. Angela. We just uh, Angela just a minute Angela open the door uh, just just one second the 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 flyer I can hear uh, you in there, that's Angela no 
Uh, that's Open no problem. Open it now. Door lock override. Opening door. Hey, Kendra. Kendra, good to here? see you. Well, all supervisors have access to their employees' apartments, just in case. Why didn't you open the door? I thought something happened to you. Uh, I was going to, but you were faster. Do you mind if I take a look around? Around my apartment? Yeah, it'll just be a second. Uh, okay, I guess. Suit yourself. Oh no, I can't get that down now. Well, your apartment isn't as cluttered as your office. It still has your personal touch for chaos, though. Thank you, I think. What if the stuff upstairs? You look nervous, Angela. Is everything okay? Uh, Might be. No, apart from my supervisor breaking into my apartment, uh, uh, everything's hunky-dory. That's no problem. Uh, that's Do no something, problem. Schnuggles. This board has been erased recently. Oh, yeah, that's why they're called dry erase boards. Because you can, you know, erase them. I don't think there's anything upstairs. Mm. Well, 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 what do we have here? You're interested in the Arcadia 6, huh? I gotcha. Really? That... That's just a general Any poster. Forbidden corporate things? Like, I don't know. That's just a general Arcadia poster. Propaganda? Just a minute. Uh, what else was there? Angela. Put that in there. Woo, woo. Uh, that's no problem. Just cans of soda. Uh, that's no problem. Uh, that's Angela, no problem. Angela, open the door. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Kendra. What happened? Is everything okay? Yeah, I just need to check some things. Do you mind if I take a look around? Around my apartment? Yeah, it'll just be a second. Uh, okay, I guess. Suit yourself. Is there a poster upstairs? Uh, let me... Let me quickly check. That's a, that's a great question. Holy shit, what a nice apartment this is, though. Well, your apartment isn't as cluttered as your office. Look at this. This, this is gorgeous. It still has your personal touch for chaos, though. What do you think the Thank rent's you. like for this? I think... Uh, you look that's nervous, no problem. Angela. Is everything okay? Especially, like, with this uh, gorgeous no, city apart view. from my supervisor breaking into my apartment, uh, everything's hunky-dory. Rails would be a nice touch. This yeah, uh, these, these are recently. a bit of a hazard. Oh, yeah, that's why they're called dry erase boards. Because you can, you know, erase them? Hmm. Everything's okay. Okay. Go on a bicky? Are you worried? You don't have anything to hide, do you? Oh. Aren't we a little paranoid, Kendra? Well, I would certainly hope so. She's not gonna open the blind. Your blinds are lowered. Yeah, sunset light bothers me. <laughs> Please Nothing don't just open Nothing unusual it. here. Not in the bin, is there? Is there anything wrong with your computer? Why is it off? We're in lockdown. Why do you want me to turn the computer on to beat my Minesweeper high score? Got her. <laughs> Imagine your employer just like waltzing into your home. I need to check a few things. Angela, please come Kendra, here. What is this all about? Let's lay our cards on the table. 
We're friends, right? Oh, yeah. Um, totally. We if you were doing anything to harm Walton Media's reputation, I would be deemed directly responsible, and you wouldn't want that. So tell me, how is it possible that you had admin permissions today? Oh, I did? Uh, that's news to me. Uh, maybe poor Gene got it wrong. He's been under so much stress lately. But you could check the surveillance cameras if you doubt me. I didn't even go near the server room today. Huh. I have one more question, Angela. Answer it and be honest. Are you the one helping Trevor Hills escape Arcadia? No. You caught me. I am not. Have a nice evening, Kendra. Door locked. Fuera de mi casa. Sounds like everything went sort of okay, huh? <laughs> sort of. Hang on, how do I turn this back on? I owe you one, man. Wait, you owe me? Come on, Angela. No, really. Thank you, Trevor. You're a good guy. Okay, well, I am going how, to how we still, now. Do we have an earpiece for Trevor? I think we do. I guess how we're still talking. How's, uh, how's everything going on your side? Good, good. I think I'm reaching the suburb area. When you see the Adam Arena Stadium on your left, drive past it and take the next exit to the suburbs. Oh, hey, the cops Angela, just not catch up with us. How is it possible for the Arcadia Adams to play against teams from the outside? Oh, all players are NPCs, non protagonist characters. Oh. People who live inside Arcadia but are part of the show, uh, like Vivian. Next topic connection with Arcadia board NPC citizens. NPC train? Now, you've been given some plot points by the story team, but engagement is critical in here, specifically with the ones in your assigned network. Ordinary lives are not interesting by themselves. We gotta make sure that things. Make sure to maintain constant eye contact and stare into their soul. Citizens, and in the end, for you, you heard of the high elves. That's what you, what we, are in here for, to be their shitty bosses, their rivals, or BFFs. It all depends, and who knows? Maybe even their spouses. <laughs> it's not common. Let me guess. Someone I mean, stole your sweet I roll. I consider myself as the first. NPC in Arcadia. Well, not actually the first one. I'm not that old. <laughs> but the thing is, no the story team would never <laughs> ask you to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. So if you ever wondered why everything goes well for the absolute jerks, egomaniacs, and obnoxious people in the city, now you know why. Well, that explains some things. I bet that Romano, my supervisor, is one of those. Could be. I don't know. I only have access to my assigned citizen grid. But, you know, George Bernstein, your neighbor, he was in cahoots with the show from day one. Not Mr. Bernstein. I've known him since I was a kid. Yeah. I, I must have the full list of NPCs somewhere, so if you want, I can send it over. No, no, no. There's no need, really. <laughs> You've there. revealed quite Can't enough even of our intricate lies for me today. Oh, this hey, is great, Angela? though. This is like more of like an exploration I of like... Noise again. Ideas from distant, the Truman Show. But... All right, all right. Uh, but obviously I here you just kind of know it. it's all fake from the start, it's rather than gradually horrible. discover it over the course of the movie. You know. It's hard to describe how it sounds. But like question it. Like I actually really like that take. It actually is quite different. I, I can't. I, you have to. I, you have to do it. I, I'll take control now, Trevor. Don't worry. We gotta move that. the car forward. Those things that look like com towers. I think I saw some at the checkpoint, too. Yeah, you're definitely right. Must be transmitters or something. It's even louder than it was at the checkpoint. I can hear it even if I cover my ears. Trevor, we, uh... Okay, now we have to cross that area. Come on, Trevor. Not touch the steering wheel or the brakes, please. Just don't have your head explode. Could. It's hard for me to even blink. Oh, damn it! Oh, God! They're tearing my brain apart! Come on, Trevor. Hold on, hold on just a little longer, Trevor. What if I, what if I stop the car? <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there. How do you feel now? Like, I had the biggest damn magnet inside my head and someone was pulling on it. But I'm better. I... I feel better.
Hang on, Trevor, we forgot something important past the stereo speakers. Yeah, I think so. Let's just reverse the car real quick. God. Let's get the hell out of here once and for all. Trevor, I think you passed like a 7-Eleven like a bit earlier on the road. Could you like stop by and pick me up a Dr. Pepper, you know? I've had a craving. <laughs> Don't say it, don't say it, Angela, last time you jinxed it. Yeesh, okay. But you're out of the transmitter zone, so what could go wrong now? I've been involved oh. in high-speed pursuit for years. I'm not scared of it. I study the road layout, carefully cover all the exits, register everything in a 10-mile radius, and calculate every possibility. Mr. Smith, please. I can't afford myself to fail. Not while I'm on duty. 10392. Stop the car immediately or face the consequences. Son of a. The interceptors are here. Come on, Trevor. Jesus, I knew it. Trevor, step on the gas. These guys are crazy. They're gonna kill me. We're really close, Trevor. Just a few miles ahead. They're pushing me off the road. No, 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 no. Oh my god. We, we, we didn't see that crashing. Yeah, there's a lot you didn't see. Doesn't mean it didn't happen. See these wounds? Let's say I was lucky to survive a crash at 95 miles per hour. Yeah, Jesus, I come... And that was only the first car crash of the weekend. He's lucky to be alive? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh, Jesus! Ah. Angela? Where am I? Angela? Angela? Are you there? I can't hear- oh, Damn it, I lost my earpiece. I got an achievement for a car crash. Oh god. Yeah, just hang on one second. Do one quick thing in my end. There you go. I have to- it's like, Yeah, you I did it! Out of here. Move, Trevor. Getting a Come total on, car wreck. Okay, so we're pretty much back up to, to where we started the game now. Fireflies, I thought there was a really bug on my screen. Are you okay? I have to get out. We drifted too hard. How long are you plan to stream for? Um, I'm really curious about this game. I kind of want to keep going. I don't want to stop. This is great. This is basically like what like um Inside and like Limbo are. We've played those games in terms of like some of the input, but like they're doing a lot more with it. It feels like I love the fact that you're just switching between characters too. Some of the most tense stuff has just been like when you're on your monitor and like, you have to answer that quiz. As you're being interrogated. Like that that's really stressful, but really well done. Don't look this way. Like, I love the humor of this game too. Son of Oh my back! Ah, I almost broke my back! He's Spider-Man! <laughs> Come on, Trevor. There's a reference in there Come somewhere. On, you gotta keep going. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, I'm covered in mud. Area clear. Starting search on new coordinates. Oh. Don't mind me, my man. Gotta uh, get through the water a bit. Think 
with the loudest footsteps ever. Don't mix, it's 31 to 35. This is right ahead. I'm going in the right direction. Come on, Trevor. Not me. I'm not here. I do love that this is actually even just a bit more lighthearted, but uh, like in some of the other games, I feel like horror. It seems to be the main genre. Like Little Nightmares is another one that comes to mind that has this kind of gameplay. I actually appreciate that this has a bit of a different tone and take with it. You know, like, it's actually really refreshing. Pretty horrific concept. I mean, it, it is, but like, the game itself is not like scary, you know. You're sending a damn helicopter to catch me? Really? Uh oh. Run, Trevor. Fair play for Trevor for just like having enough endurance to survive this. <laughs> okay, I thought I was gonna need to push that. I can't believe it. These guys are shooting at me. I can't believe it. These guys are shooting at me. Come on, Trevor. How how am I supposed to get past? Ah. I can't believe it. These guys are shooting at me. No hit. I repeat, no hit. Commencing sweep maneuver. Oh, would you please just leave me alone? How am I supposed to get? I can't believe it. These guys are shooting at me. Okay, I see it, right. He's doing like a sweep. Oh, would you please just leave me alone? Target missed. Subject still in cover. Moving to the opposite side. Uh, oh. Oh, ah, I was behind it. Come on. <laughs> I can't believe it. These guys are shooting at me. Hide behind this. Trevor's having a really rough day. Back here. Target missed. Subject still in cover. Just an account manager. <laughs> Why are you shooting at me? It is a bit of a violent reaction to an account manager. Guys really do not want to file their taxes. No hit, I repeat, no hit. Go from here. Wait for the water to drain. Target missed. Subject still in cover. Commencing 
Am I behind that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I am not. I got okay, alright, that was a cheap shot. Oh, Trevor. Ten three ninety two is not down. Oh, this can't be happening to me. Side. Trevor's gonna have a lot of trauma after this day. <laughs> it's okay. It all might just be part of the show. I think this is just another elaborate episode of the show. My work in theory. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go! He's entering the water station building. The water treatment station is a restricted area. Stop immediately. We're gonna poison the water supply. Blend Arcadio one way or another. Executing turning maneuver to intercept target. No, no. Damn it. No. Oh. I'm not safe there. <laughs> I do there. Ten three ninety two. The water treatment station is a restricted area. Stop immediately. Executing turning maneuver to intercept target. No, no. Damn it. No. <laughs> hey, if you jump, you get a, a nice little clip through the ground. supposed to go down there somewhere but I do I do not see how is oh. I can't get him to shoot the plank there we go okay yeah he's supposed to jump in it Wow, he's surprisingly okay from that was close. plummeting now, down that. Where am I? Actually, it wasn't that bad. Whoever is a machine, it's shockingly strong. What, what am I what am I doing here? Move this in here. The unsafe walk, guys. Yeah, this is this is pretty dangerous. I'll soon be uh, Trevor's middle name instead of Clarence, though. At this rate. Give me this. 
can only be an employee here if you're an expert at parkour. I want to make sure the water's like, like, like free of contamination and pure. The drink in public. How good are you at climbing? Oh, no reason. No, no reason. Hey, could you scale like a 10 meter wall? Good. Now I can move this thing to reach the other side of this damn station. Now, how do people even find their way around here? Although I doubt this spot of Arcadia attracts many visitors. I mean, look, like, look, look at Trevor go. Like, apparently this is like the regular way to work. <laughs> look at this monstrosity of a staircase. <laughs> he is an agile man. <sighs> the dome exit must be ahead. Make another ladder jump here. Huh. There's a scissor lift in here. I could really use Angela's ability to control and or manipulate devices right now. Uh, I will just make do while uh, be grand. Let's go back here. Like a four meter drop. Like, th th that's the thing. This would really hurt. Your knees would be aching after this many falls. He'd be in so much pain the next day. He really is. Shins, what are those? Like even that that would really hurt. Oh no, apparently that did really hurt. Eye on the target. Oh no! Surrender now. There we go. <laughs> you have been outplayed. I ever just killed a man. <laughs> Actual murder was just committed. It's his first kill. Self defense, you're on. Just <laughs> Wait, uh, okay, how, how do I use the ladder? Oh no, I'm so close! Just gotta make it to the exit. Yes, yes, yes! I'm almost there! I made it, Angela! Point one miles. I finally made it! He's gonna have like the exit door just waiting for him there and he's gonna be like, in case I don't see you! That must be the edge of the Arcadia Dome. Run! Oh, it is there! Come on, I can almost see the exit sign! It's pretty convenient. No, no, no! There's no way out! Oh, what do I do now? There's a retractable bridge down there. If only Angela were here. Damn it! Where, where, where is Angela it's right now? 10392. Don't do anything stupid. Just raise your hands and surrender. <sighs> okay, okay. I I give up. I've been dealing with dangerous individuals for my entire career. So my measures, extreme or not, are not up for discussion. That's the way I work. Period. If you are looking for a little tender loving care, Hire a babysitter. Uh, while I appreciate sure like this like the office style commentary, I am uh, I'm man. a bit worried about poor old Trevor in this moment. <laughs> what? Hey, 
No, I just saw it. We got 10 392. We're bringing him to the core. Oh, he was so close. We all know and enjoy Arcadia's splendid temperature thanks to its weather controlled dome. But how does the dome get enough energy to generate this endless spring and its 43 square miles throughout the whole year? Well, that's exactly the function of the core power plant. In this station built inside the dome, 100% renewable and safe energy is extracted daily to supply the entire city with electricity, hot water, and other necessary resources. That's great. The core is the beating heart of the city of tomorrow. And to handle a beating heart, a thinking brain is required. And that is what the hexagon is for. A high-tech security building outside the Arcadia Dome, where every system that keeps the city functioning is carefully operated by technicians and engineers. The dome, the core, and the hexagon. The lungs, heart, and brain of Arcadia. Are humans renewable? I mean, strictly speaking... Oh, here's the aptly named chapter that is four hours after the car crash. Uh, Travis finally got a bit of a, of a rest. 10-3-92. Oh, look. If it isn't the Arcadia Gestapo, what do you want with me now? With you? Nothing. What I need to know is the name of your cooperator on the outside. So spit it out. Who is you? Oh, don't rat her out. You? Nobody. <laughs> oh, I just sorry. went for a short stroll, to mute. but I got oh, lost it. on the path of life. Oh, I mute you it. think this is funny? You think I'm afraid to use more extreme measures with you? Chief, that's enough. That's no way to treat a person. He's not a person. He's property. Oh, Jesus. But your property in any case, Miss Walton. All yours. I'll be watching you. 10-3-92. Hey, you're a poet and you didn't even know it. Jerk. Trevor, first of all, I want to apologize for everything that's happened so far. This has been nothing but a terrible misunderstanding. <laughs> sorry we tried I to shoot you with all those drones. I understand your position and I I'm deeply sorry. We should have managed things differently. Oh, you mean like when you said that I could be a threat to myself and other citizens? And you were. Look at the sorry state you're in. I was just trying to keep you from hurting yourself more. Yeah, sure. A likely story. Trevor, what do you know about Arcadia? I know that my whole life here is a lie. I know that Arcadia is nothing but a TV show, and I know that you kill people in here. Sadly, I can't argue with your first two statements, but... Trevor... Nobody has been killed in here. Tell that to Gus. Hexagon, would you please show Augustus Rainey's house cam on the monitor in room 33? There he is. Gus oh. has been living there for a couple of days now. What on earth? Hello, Gus. Everything all right? Oh, hi, Vivian. Yeah, sure. Everything is just peachy here. Trevor's here with me. Would you say hello? No, I really please? don't believe her. What? The amount of drones with guns. Hi, Gus. You're next in line? A TV show, man. Who would have thought, huh? Hey, Gus, Trevor is in a little bit of shock, and I still have to explain the full process to him. We'll talk to you later, okay? Oh, sure, sure. Bye, Vivian. Trevor! See you soon, man. But, but I, I, I saw the images. I, I saw Gus. What did you see exactly besides Gus leaving with two security Gus guards? Gus was an NPC. Come with me, <sighs> please. I want to show you something. Gus wasn't real. I'll be honest. AA ratings are slowly declining. It's not serious yet, but we need to reduce costs. All Arcadia-born citizens require stage technicians, uh -oh. supervisors, camera tracking 24-7. 
in short, lots of money. And unpopular citizens, like you or Gus, are just not profitable. So we just need to retire you guys from the show, but not the kind of retirement you're thinking of. You see, the Arcadia Edge isn't actually a travel grant, but rather a relocation program. Edge is our brand new housing community at the edge of the Arcadia Dome. Oh no, they have a second show. But of course, we needed the travel grant thing so we could remove a few citizens without everybody in Arcadia beginning to ask questions. That's where we were going to take you after giving you a nice compensation. It's going to be a spit off. But no, nobody told me that. You ran away when we were going to explain everything to you. I was just... They told me I had to escape. Ah, uh, of course. They. Listen, Trevor. The Arcadia Dome is a major infrastructure under 24-7 surveillance, heavily guarded with multiple security measures. And only I can turn them down. So, the only way to escape from Arcadia is by pressing a fail-safe button in my penthouse at the top of the Arcadia Spire that only I have access well, to. Well, thanks for telling me where it no is, though. I appreciate it. I've told you that isn't happening, Trevor. It's like that necessary detail. So, I'm trapped in here. You didn't have to say no, that. <laughs> oh, no, no, this is not a prison. We can't keep you here against your will. But you just said that I can't get out. No, no, I said you can't escape. Of course you can get out. How am I... with those noises? I, I can barely move when I hear those things. Oh, you mean the realignment jingle. Yes, that is one of the security measures I mentioned. You have to, say that. to recognize an acoustic pattern to uh, provide you with an extreme sensation of well-being and comfort. Ah! You brainwashed me. Absolutely comfort's not. The wrong you word. were born with it, like any other Arcadian citizen in the last thirty years, and you've been hearing it throughout your whole life. What on earth? That is the anyway. jingle. Long story short, we can remove the jingle from you. We'll just take you to a realignment booth and you'll be free of it in a matter of she, seconds. She's gonna kill us. A realignment booth? Trevor, you really shouldn't be following. But first, we need you to comply with a few things. By signing this agreement here, you refused- Wait, 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 wait. You really think that I'm going to trust you blindly after everything you've done to me? You just told me that I've been a damn Pavlov's dog my whole life, and you expect me to let you guys scramble my brains again? No way, screw Trevor, that! Trevor, you're standing a little this is close. Not an easy decision, Trevor. I know she's not been nice, but, but not personal told space, you a but. Single lie. They, on the other hand, cannot say the same thing. Take your time, okay? Whenever you're ready. Okay, thanks. Look! I know you can hear me. I'm not even gonna read this piece of crap. Forget about it. I'm not doing it. You hear me? He's literally been locked inside Let Billy Zions. Let me out! I'm not signing this. No way. Hey, is anybody there? Are you really gonna let me rot in here? You can't keep me in here forever. Oh, Trevor, don't read it. Specifically agrees to not discuss the show interference. I don't know how much time I spent locked up in there. Probably wasn't more than a couple of hours, but it felt like an eternity. I was physically and mentally exhausted from the escape. I had wounds all over my body, and I was still absorbing the harsh truth about my life. So everything came crashing down on me at that moment. I was determined to sign and get it over with. No, Trevor. Don't sign. 
Don't do it. I don't think I have a choice, though, even as, like, the player here. There's only one option, and it is to sign. Can I- what happens if I just leave the game here? Well, I need to go to the toilet, right? So, this is the perfect time. I'm- I'm just gonna sit tight. Let me- let me know if something happens, okay? I'm just gonna go use the loo. Yeah, I'll be ba I'll be back in one sec. Uh, let me know if anything happens, okay? Okay, every I'm back. Everyone's freaking out. Did anything actually happen? Was that Freddy Fazbear? Ah, oh, okay, okay, it's good to see you. <laughs> Was that the bite of '87? Damn it! I think I have to side it. You did a backflip. <sighs> yeah, I, I think I have to sign it gameplay-wise. I don't know if there's another way out if I just wait. Don't submit. The thing is, I could see it being very clever where it's like, if you just wait five minutes, like, it, it's fine. But uh, this game also only came out today, so I don't know. Far Cry end and look at that. Clock is not moving anymore. No, it's not. Wait a little longer for the achievement. Is there an achievement for waiting? I do kind of want to wait. <laughs> if there's an achievement. Well, now, now we gotta wait. Who's up Pokedoku while you wait? I, I've already done it today, Cupcake, so I can't. Love our, love our Pokedoku, though. It's so much fun. Clock is loud. Let me, let me get some subway surfers up again. What's Pokedoku? It's kind of like a little Pokemon challenge where every day you have to kind of guess like nine Pokemon. It's like a type combination crossover and region crossover kind of thing. And you have to kind of get like the most obscure answers. You get points. Fun little puzzle. Is there an achievement? I don't know. The Steam interface has changed massively since I last looked at this, too.
There's eight hidden achievements for the game, so I can't really tell. Okay, I'm gonna sign. You have to wait a week. <laughs> yeah, no, I've got time. I, I can leave the stream running. Let me, let me just go make dinner. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cook a meal and we'll come back and play. I think you can't move for a minute to get the flip. <laughs> Subathon. It's, this would be the saddest subathon ever. It's just Trevor locked in a room. We're <laughs> not even doing anything. He's just fucking trapped in a room until he signs a contract. That's the worst subathon premise. Hey guys, welcome to the RT game, uh, uh Substravaganza. Now we're just gonna wait to sign these, uh, tax returns and... Have a zany, wild time here. I'm so glad you could all make it to this monumental occasion and... Really, the pinnacle of stream content we've ever devised on this Twitch channel. People still watch Truman even while he's sleeping. Ah, <laughs> oh, my favorite part of the show. Sometimes I just like hearing the clock tick, you know? It really relaxing and puts me at ease. <laughs> it's getting kind of creepy. <laughs> it is. For God's sake, do something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, let me- I'm gonna sign it. Oh, there we go! Okay. These guys are crazy! They're gonna kill me! Oh, we get to listen to, like, the Trevor die in the car crash again. Two hours after the car crash. It's been almost two hours and I still don't know where Trevor is. Okay. I've been switching through the closed circuit television and I can't find him anywhere. This is not the right time for this. I've got a message on my phone, but I, ca I can't see it. I, I gotta focus and find Trevor. I don't know how, but... Seriously, like this is a gorgeous apartment view. You get like the entire city from up here. Like this is insane. Oh shit, my phone. Number six, finally. What happened with Trevor? Where is he? They, they, they pushed him off the road. They turn on the TV. What are you talking about? We need to get. To Trust me, Kovacs. Turn the TV on. Pop it on. Is now. He's alive. He's alive. Oh, thank God. Who leaked this? Was it us? Of course it was us, Kovax. They wanted Trevor to be known. Fine. Now everybody knows him inside and outside Arcadia. Look at him go. Where is he now? If he's still inside Arcadia, there must be a way to find him. Oh, look at the ratings. Uh, maybe I can track Trevor from there and then go to. Do not even think about it, Kovacs. The Hexagon is not like any other Walton Media building. We are talking about the nerve center of Arcadia. We are talking about insane security measures. We are talking about. I'm gonna do it, with or without your help, Number Six. <sighs> okay, fine. But I will be with you, guiding you through the entire process. Copy. Copy that. And if something goes wrong, remember, you do not know us. You have never heard of us. Spare me the lecture. I knew what I signed up for when I joined Breakout. 
So, yeah, going to the hexagon was my idea. I hope I didn't report any of this in this, like, TV documentary. And today, I still wonder if that was a bold move or a stupid move. Probably a bit of both, all things considered. Oh, this blizzard is getting Four hours the after the car crash. I'm freezing out here. Do you read me, Kovacs? Hexagon entrance. Uh, with a little bit of static due to my old headphones, but I can hear you. Good. Now, listen carefully. You are in front of one of the back entrances to the Hexagon. The staff here use a special secure digital card to access the place. You will find one in the back alley inside a metallic box. Okay. Let me, let me, let me have a look over here. Uh, it's pretty... Hey, it's uh, the away. Six sign with all your names written on it. Wait, they just have all the names here? Well, I guess this is from when they, uh, I mean, because it was quite public on TV I, and whatnot. I know you probably won't answer me on this, but which one of them are you? Luther, Sid, or Antoine? You guessed it. I am not going to answer this question. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, I thought so, but had to try. How did you manage to get your hands on this card? That was a combination of social engineering, months of decrypting code, and a bit of pure luck. We were saving it for a special occasion, but what better day than today? Let's break on into the Walton Corporation. Not Disney. It's just straight up Bluetooth. That's this cute. <laughs> we have the there symbol. Are different levels of access okay. here at the hexagon, all named for geometric shapes. Your SD card grants you access to only the basic level, the triangle. You will not get too far with just that. So, how am I going to find Trevor's location then? We have added some extras to your SD card. One of them is some homebrew software that can be used to reverse engineer level access devices. Seems pretty cool. Walmart is going down? <laughs> no, it's not Walmart. It's a Disney Corporation. I mean, it's not. Sorry, no. It's Walton. Not affiliated. I can't do it. Can't access this yet. Walton Dosney. Oh, Walton is the family that owns Walmart. Oh, okay, I, I don't know the Walmart, Laura. Right I'm sorry. There. And there's just a hallway, no door. Do not go in there yet, Kovacs. It cannot be that easy. Uh, I might not have any choice. There we go. God, no one is home today. Like a bank holiday or something. No use. I see a machine on the other side of this glass. I believe it has a rhombus symbol on it. Must be an access level device. Make sure you get there. Oh, so we need to kind of get like more sides. It's gonna be like rhombus and then pentagon and uh, hexagon. My phone is vibrating. Remember I mentioned those extras we added to your SD card? Oh. Proximity sensor detector. This tool works like a... Like a Geiger counter. Whenever you are close to a proximity sensor, that bar will Oh, rise. God. So tread lightly. And if you see that red bar rising, you would better move back. Okay, so we gotta... We gotta be cautious. Hats. We're going down. I mean, there's a vent here. Oh, damn it. Do I really have to get inside that vent? Looks like it. I thought that I had cameras in this facility. Yeah, they seem to have neglected that for some reason. Here. How the hell am I going to avoid those sensors? 
Try to guide yourself with the sound. Oh, God. Okay, so it increased there. There's a lot of variety of gameplay in this. Like, this is a lot more than I expected to be. Here? No. Who lights the vents? <laughs> the engineer was just having fun. see any cameras in here. Weird. And you will not see them. Our intel says they do not have cameras in the hexagon. We do not know the reason for this. One comes to mind. Whatever they're doing in here, Walton Media does not want it on record in any way. I hadn't thought of that. Uh, could be. Uh, I think we're going the right way. No. Um... Hmm. There's a safe spot here. Gotta hope I'll to run through this later. So there's basically just like red invisible walls all around here. I just gotta be careful and working them out. Easy now, Kovacs. Dot the I's and cross the T's. Okay. Keep going. What? Th that door has a timer? What kind of moron puts a timer on an automatic door? Well, okay, this is gonna be rough. Every automatic door has a timer. Alright, okay, gotta go quick. I think I know I think I know the layout. here. Ah, finally. Okay, I'm we're good. That's stressful. <laughs> At one room in RuneScape Dungeoneering. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I understand. <laughs> We need to get we need to get rhombus clearance. The Trevor go. Um I just open this now. I have to raise my access level to enter this door. Nope. AA, he's blind again. Is it one of the computers? And you touch the machine. Uh, oh, this one. Yeah. Sorry. Now you will have to manually transfer the permission info from the machine to your phone. Sounds easy, but how do I do that? You have to press buttons to swap the positions of the two geometric shapes. Not that Sorry guys, I'm getting old. You know, I'm 28 like Trevor. Like that? Looking for a specific spot. You will make it eventually. Do not get nervous. 
Am I looking for two specific ones? That's the way it was, so I need to get it opposite. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I always hate these puzzles. Damn it! What? What the? <laughs> I always hate these puzzles. It reset. So I just need to swap them around, is it? So that's the same. Uh, what am I doing wrong? That's the way it was. I keep getting it. Orange needs to be on the bottom. Guards, get him. Make it eventually. Do not get nervous. Okay, that one there. <laughs> I'm so bad at these. I am I am actually really bad at these puzzles. I, I've never been good at like these little slidey puzzles. Damn it, what what the Very much struggle with them. If I just go around like that maybe? There we go. Do not get nervous. Access level upgraded. New level wrong. Vivian Walton okay. surprised everyone a few hours ago with this live statement following the leak of images of one of its citizens fleeing the show. Uh -huh. I have to admit, I'm enjoying doing my bit to wipe that creepy smile off her face. In light of the dissemination of the unauthorized images of the citizen of Arcadia, Trevor Hills, Walton Media feels compelled oh, to issue this statement. We categorically deny all information that has been made public about the circumstances surrounding Trevor Hills' so-called escape. But we've, we've got it on camera. Such information, which is clearly intended to damage Walton Media's good reputation, lacks the slightest hint of veracity. Walton Media and the American Arcadia team have taken every measure to ensure Mr. Hill's physical well-being. Tomorrow at 8 p.m., there will be an official live appearance clarifying everything that happened regarding the behavior of our citizen. This appearance will include the testimony of Trevor Hills himself. Thank you. Wait, Trevor Hills himself? W what is she planning, to wipe his brain clean? You can expect anything from Vivian. I detest her, but I have to admit that wretched woman He's is gonna be replaced by AI. AI. <laughs> Hold on a second. Number six? What's happening? Damn it, guys, they're down here. We need to go. Now! Uh oh. Max, they found us. What? Who? Walton Media's goons, of course. They must be tracking us somehow. Everybody gear up because we are out in five! Listen, we have to go now. Oh no, like Mickey Mouse himself is safe. there at the door. Okay, okay. Kovacs, find Trevor. Who picked the bat? Got me to I mess with, pal! No trail behind us. Now I'm gonna break now your on, knees in! You're on your own. We are counting on you. Stay safe, number six. And good luck. Good luck to you too, Kovacs. I think he's got a Glock. I need a Pentagon here. I'll be damned. I'm on my own. I'm literally scared shitless. Hexagon okay, there. Not literally. I'm gonna shank you. Like Mickey, no. They're infiltrating the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Essentially, yes. Inside the Walton Media Illuminati meeting. And look who's here. Hello, my fellow American Arcadia teammates. 
It is so good to see <laughs> so I just all of you here. Down. Hello, Hello Vivian. Vivian. The cat. First of all, we know that whatever happens tomorrow is going to be crucial to the future of Walton Media and American Arcadia. So, my thanks and appreciation to every single one of you for your commitment. No, thank you, Vivian. Pathetic. You're too kind, Kendra. I don't oh no, Kendra's in there too. On a too. note, I've talked with Trevor and I'm convinced he'll come to his senses. Sooner than later, I hope. And once he signs, we'll bring him to a realignment booth and everything will be realignment ready. Realignment booth? Until then, let's stay in high spirits with a positive attitude and everything gonna will go smoothly. They're gonna wipe him, they're gonna make him an NPC. Am I right or am I right? Of course, Vivian! See you tomorrow then. And remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Go fuck yourself, Vivian. Bye, Bye, Vivian. Bye, Vivian. Damn it. Boy, Number six Vivian's was right. Nice. Jeezy corporate really slogans. Like Wait till you see the it look on Michael's face of brainwashing. Tell him I spoke to oh, to her. Vivian really is the evil bitch supreme. I yes, she find is. That access machine thingy before Trevor signs anything. Okay. Uh, the access level device is right Let's there. get this. Good. This hey, is gonna be painful. This device works differently. This so is gonna be really painful. What do I need to do now? Are you ready, guys? <laughs> I've only got these ones that I can press. I've only got one line. Damn it, what what, what the Okay, so they can hop over one. Oh god. Um uh, what am I doing wrong? This is going to be painful. None of the buttons work anymore. Alternate the colors. Oh, it's kind of working. I'm really bad at block puzzles. Like, you have to bear that in mind. I'm, I am trying to work this out. Why do you keep resetting? Because it, it actually locks uh, the puzzle repeatedly. Yes, I've already locked it. See, as I, I actually don't see the solution here. I don't get it. One blue, one orange. One blue, one orange. One blue, one orange. Uh, no, that, that's not the solution. Because now I can't move them back. See?
Um. Blue than orange, blue than orange. I I have actually been doing that. That's the thing. Like once I get it here, I don't know what to do. See? If I send a blue again, I'm just having this problem, but on the other side now, see? That doesn't work. Orange one, blue one, orange two. No, I, I really don't get it. I really, I, I, I don't know why people are getting. Some of you need to calm the fuck down. I'm calling out that one guy. Yo, chill, a posh cat. Calm the fuck down. Singling you out. Oh, I'm, I'm, look, I'm not, I'm not the best of these. I'm not the best of these. Help me out, chat, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm really actually not good with block puzzles, and I don't mind a bit of help. Um, to just try and get through this. I don't really understand how these ever work. Sub only? No, there's no need for that. It's just that one guy. Three, five, six, four. Three, five, six, four. Okay. Alright, that, that looks a lot more promising. And two. Then three. And one. All right. No, I don't think that's right. Hang on. Two. What was it? Three, five, six, four. Two and then one. And then this. Three. Have I got it? Five. And then... Is it seven? This is just fucking wizardry to me. And that goes there. Four. Damn it, what what, what the Wait, have we, have we already fucked it? <laughs> I don't think I have. Access level. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I, I would have never worked that out by myself. That, that's that's actually really confusing. Those those types of puzzles just do not register in my head that well. Thanks for helping me there, chat. I, re I really appreciate it. Oh. Interceptors. I'm telling you, he might look like he's 80, but this guy runs as if his life depended on it. 
Well, that kind of makes sense. Can I just what happens if I walk up to him? Playing hide and seek in the wetlands. Dan broke a leg chasing that animal. Hope they don't notice the open vent. Kovacs, Kovacs, do you copy? Number six. What happened? Did you make it to the Those safe house? are the worst. Yeah, I really suck at them. Right, number four. Not yet. We're still on the road, but I think we lost. My them. leg is broken. Any news from Trevor? Yeah, but not good news. You're right about everything. We have to hurry. We must anticipate and maybe, maybe carry out a really bold move. What do you mean by that? There is no time now. Focus on entering the Arcadia control grid, Kovacs. Okay. Let's walk on in. Attention, all security <laughs> personnel. You said! There has been a security breach in the hexagon. You said walk in! <laughs> you just told me. Is there another thing in here? There we go. <laughs> Don't mind me! Uh, is there another door I missed? There was, there was a hexagon door down there, I thought. Is it a hexagon? I'll be or? damned. I'm on my own. I'm literally scared shitless. Hexagon there. Okay, not literally. A oh, vent down here, no? I'm guessing I don't have to go through all that again. I think the sensors are irrelevant. Yeah, the sensors have just like popped away now. Up out here. Was there another door? Triangle there. Big old vent there. Oh, it's just this central one. Okay, right. I actually didn't see that. Man, Little you're control right again. room here. That hall is plagued with infrared beams. Mm, not good. Do you see a way to shut them down? Uh, there is a device in here. Let me try. Let's see what we can do. You gotta be kidding me. The device to shut the beams down is an hexagon level? What do I do? We cannot wait anymore, Kovacs. Memorize the position of the beams and oh. reenact the laser scene from Oceans 12. You were gonna say that, right? <laughs> no. Uh, sort of. But without the pop culture reference. Okay. So how are we doing this? Wh which one is first? What's our, what's our perspective here? Oh god, I don't like this. Okay, so that's the core there. There's four levels. Uh, there's one, there's two. But no, the, they're in reverse. Okay, so I need to go to the left. Then the right, the right is clear. So left and duck. You know, is that the third one? That's the third one. First one is just on the right. Okay, so it's right, then left and duck. Right, left and duck. Right again. 
Right, left, and duck, right. Exactly through the middle duck. Okay, I need to just memorize that. So right, left, and duck, right, middle. Right. Left and duck. Right. Duck. Through the middle. Oh, I made it. You are now in the Seems to be a gap in the security system to leave those blade holes. Runs through these servers. I would gladly shut this whole room off if I knew how to. Me too. But since we do not know how to do that, we should use it to our advantage and find Trevor. Hit your control grid. Uh. No! I can't believe this machine is also a hexagon level. Oh, thank God. There's one of those access level devices in here. Uh, what, what, what are we doing? How does this thing work now? Why do they make this process so damn complex? I do not Why enjoy these puzzles. Provide access to all levels. I only need hexagon. Is that right? It's just a wire puzzle. I, I just need to connect like the yellow wire. I just need the ones that like the yellow wire is in. Yellow goes to there, which goes to there. Um. I need that one. Where's that yellow one come out? <laughs> I've lit all the ones with a yellow wire. Damn it. It's not working. Lights turn on at the bottom when you turn them something. on, yeah. That one maybe? How's about turn them all on? No. Ah. Pop two blue. I can connect those blue ones. I don't think that helps or anything though. Turn them all off and see. Damn it. It's not working. Oh, I gotta be missing something. I connect all the black ones. What does that do? Nothing. <laughs> okay. So it's either get it correct or not. Damn it. It's not working. Oh, I gotta be missing something. Get the wires in order, maybe. I, I don't know. The puzzles in this one have been a bit much for my poor braid. Hmm. Maybe you need another hint in the room. Maybe. No, it does, doesn't seem to be anything. I think this is where it wants me to be. Dan, look up. 
There's that little graph from before. The door on the other side. Oh, okay. A really simple wiring, that's all. I only have to keep track of the yellow cable. I'll take a picture of it just in case. That's a bit handier. Yeah, that, that's what we were missing then. Okay. All right. So we go from there to there to there to there. Down to here. To there to there. There there. Access level upgraded. New level. Cool. Hexagon. Okay, Arcadia control grid. Help me find my good friend Trevor Clarence Hills. AKA Arcadia's public enemy number one. AKA 10392. Let's check it on Trevor. 372 cameras? Really? Oh, looks like this is gonna take a while, number six. Do you have time now to explain that really bold move you were talking about? Yes. Once you locate Trevor, get him to. You know where old Arcadia is, right? The abandoned prototype town? Why do you want me to bring Trevor there? Because that Ooh. is where Arpad Kobach's Visiorama workshop is. And since we know they stole his technology for the jingle, we need to use it to get it out of Trevor's head. <laughs> what? Removing the jingle? Are you crazy? Th th that plan is like a hundred to one shot, to put it mildly. We barely know anything about the jingle. That is why you need to get inside realignment and find as much information as you can. But only after you bring to uh, Number four, I told you to slow down, <laughs> damn it. S stop the car and act casual when the cop comes. Kovax, please, trust me. Bring Trevor to Old Arcadia. We're counting. God damn it, number four. There he is. Ugh, oh, finally. No, 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 Trevor, don't do it. Don't sign that. Comms were locked, so the only way I found to communicate with him was to play an audio file from my phone. And guess what song was the first one in my recently played files? We're back. Andrew Kovacs? Is that you? It's a very convenient song. Okay. <laughs> and how do I get a brand new start? <laughs> it's got like all the lyrics you need. Got it. Although I don't think I'm going to be able to keep doing this using only verses of that stupid song. Like it would have been a very different outcome if the only song on our phone is TRAGEDY! <laughs> like, you know? Like Trevor would be in a bit of distress. There you go, Trevor. Make your way on back. I don't know how much longer of the game we have as well. I don't know if anyone else has played this game at this point. It literally only came out today. I kind of want to keep going, but I am aware that it's like half eleven at night. The Arcadia Core. I mean, I'm happy to stay up and have a late night. Of the city of tomorrow. It does feel like it's getting towards the end. This place. I don't know, maybe I can check with the achievements and, like, kind of cheat it. How many chapters did we do? Completed chapter four. I can see an achievement for a complete chapter seven. Hey, bud. Hold it right there. Yes, sir. 
I don't know what I was supposed to do there. Is there like a vent? Yeah, there is. I'm happy to keep going. I'm actually just really enjoying this. Still feel kind of full of energy, too. We'll have a late night stream. We haven't had a late night, proper late night stream in a while now. You gotta go. That's all good. Uh, like, you know, streams on the archive channel as ever. You can always just watch it later. I think for the, for the Americans, this might suit them a bit better, just because it's earlier in the day. Trevi, all right. Eating? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Don't worry about me. This game is a lot more than I thought it would be. Just give Trevor some time. He'll come to reason. I do not have much faith in that, but we'll see. Oh, and Chief, you don't need to... Trevor has broken out once again. I could have survived like a 10 foot fall. This is not an issue for him. Game is good so far. I've really enjoyed this. Like it's actually it's 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 been like fun to play, but I kind of like like the concept as well. It's like kind of like oh, it feels like a natural like exploration of some of the ideas that the Truman Show raises. But th it's done a bit differently, you know. Obviously, Kovacs, if you can hear me, this place is full of drones. It's been really enjoyable. Do something. Wait, switch on the node. Switch on which node? <laughs> so many. <laughs> I got I gotta supply power. I think. Back the drone. Who can I shoot him? <laughs> Day the run and start it. Smash that the mustache. For Dan. <laughs> just, uh, let's just take him out real quick. There we go. I want to get that other officer. Just because I can. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Oh. Looks like the drones are on our side now. Cool. Damn. How how am I supposed to do this? Can I even see that other drone? 
Gotta wait for it to come into view. Oh, yep. Okay, wait, wait down here. And now I gotta wait for this drone to catch sight of the next one. I stun him through the window. <laughs> I don't think so, but there was another drone over here. You might be able to get him. Move to him. How do I make him, like, open the blinds? Does it just come in the window? Oh wait, maybe if I walk it, it's Trevor. I can get him. Okay, I, I see it. Because left and right are still actually working even when I'm in drone cam. This is some really creative gameplay. I'm actually really impressed with this. Is that working? Buddy? Okay, I see it. So I'm gonna press this and then he's gonna be lured. So loud. Stop beeping, damn it! There we go. Cool, oh, we got it. Go, oh, Trevor, you can roll. <laughs> you don't need to wait for security clearance. Boys are backing us up. Ah! Trevor will lead the uprising. This is amazing. Go, Trevor. There's the subject. Hold it right there. D drop your guns. I'm warning you. These drones now do my bidding. So you, you, you better leave. Or, or, I won't be responsible for the harm these little killing machines might cause you. Subject, 10390. Oh, no. You're giving me way too much trouble for a pathetic whim. I still wonder how you managed to get the required rank to control and manipulate Arcadia's automated personnel. But it doesn't matter anymore. I'll escort you back to your cell. As soon as I have you rendered unconscious. Kovacs, if you can hear me, please do something! Kovacs? Who is Kovacs? My... <laughs> so that was Miss Solano's doing. Yes, but she obviously she knew it pulled the lever across. That's why she opened the hatch. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I mean, I have had everything under control. What? He said, Kovacs, do something, and I did the first thing that came into my mind. Take the gun, Trevor. Don't move! Don't move or I'll shoot you, I swear to God! I know when someone has what it takes to pull the trigger just by looking in their eyes. And you don't have the guts, 10392. Damn it! Just leave me alone! <laughs> no, Trevor! <laughs> It would have just stunned him. Hexagon. Hexagon, do you copy? Damn it. Oh wait, no, I did that wrong. There we go. 
I got it wore off in time. Stop that platform immediately. I'll find another way. Hexagon, what's happened? It's like, sorry, we're in like a conference meeting. There won't be a next time. I can guarantee you that. Yeah, that's in case I think if he's like on your ass or something. But we're actually quite far ahead. Is, is he just lost? Where is he? Yeah, I think. I think we just got away. <laughs> He's just not here. We get like a you know like a banjo kazooie like platform sequence now. No thanks. To keep going, Trevor. <laughs> he went to check on Hexagon. I think he did. You know what? Even my grandpa could jump that. Oh, wait. Fatal error. Fatal error. <laughs> grandpa didn't make it. Uh, I mean, I'm enjoying the game. It's it's obviously it's got some bugs like, but that have to be ironed out. But I'm still having a good time. <laughs> His grandpa they couldn't make the jump. He just couldn't make it. Okay, continue. Yeah, it's working now. Yeah, he was supposed to be here. Ah! Oh, again. Hexagon, do something! Stop this! He's supposed to be like hot in pursuit this entire time. We didn't hear that like, dialogue before. <laughs> no thanks. Run, Trevor. You won't make it to the other side. Ten three ninety two. There is no escape. You know what? Even my grandpa could jump that. What? Halfway through my jump, I suddenly realized how <laughs> rickety the ladder was. But it was too late to do anything about it. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> I fell about nine feet. And I landed in a puddle of some sort of thick liquid. It smelled awful, but it helped cushion the blow. Facial error. You think you made it, 10392? I don't care. Wait, was that was that the Peter Griffin? Fucking Family Guy death pose for a f fraction of a second. Could someone please go back and check that? The way his arm was, I think that's actually what that was. <laughs> Hang on, could someone get a clip and actually check that? This is important. <laughs> for a fraction of a second, I thought I saw it. This is, this is really important. I don't think so. Ah, oh, it really looked it. Okay, we'll, we will see in the VOD. We'll see in the VOD. That looks really close to it, though. I'll get you again. You won't get out of Arcadia. You hear me? 
People, people can cross like at, like analyze that scene in the yeah, Discord. Yeah, I hear you. Keep it's very close, but idiot. not quite. Okay. What? What do I do now? Where do I go? What on earth? They're over here. Welcome to Arcadia. Turn on all the lights. Or. At least welcome to the land where the city of tomorrow is being built. The Arcadia project is moving forward spectacularly fast, and we hope to have it finished for summer of 1961. Let's take a quick view of some of the amazing perks that Arcadia has to offer. First of all, our suburbs. Modern housing with the latest technology included, service droids, voice-operated devices, and everything a modern American family needs. And with our road system that will communicate easily with the downtown area, you won't have to worry about traffic anymore. Get to work either by monorail or an electric car. Wow. And what about leisure? If you want to enjoy a good movie, there is a spectacular drive-in theater with an immersive new system called Visiorama. But that's not all. We have a special surprise for our audience, and here is our good friend Arpad Kovacs to explain it to us. Hello, Mr. Walton. Hello, kids. I am here to tell you we are building a new TV studio right here in Arcadia. So from now on, I will be recording Architects of Tomorrow from my workshop right here. Isn't that amazing? So, Arcadia already has its first neighbor. What are you waiting for? Call and make your reservation so you can be one of the lucky ones to be selected. Ask for housing in Arcadia now and be welcome to... Give us your money. A wonderful tomorrow to live in. You could, you could, be, you could live here. You could be the lucky one. Okay, uh, gang, so I saw there, uh, the achievement we just got there said complete chapter 5. And there is still an achievement for at least a chapter 7, so there's a chapter 6 in here somewhere too. We're on chapter 6 now. Uh, it is already midnight here. So we are going to leave it here for tonight. Because it's going to be probably about two hours more. And it's already midnight. Uh, but what we will do is we will continue this tomorrow. Uh, we'll probably be doing a bit of a two for a stream uh, tomorrow. So we'll finish this and actually been very kindly sponsored uh, by Power Wash Sim uh, to play again. Uh, which is really sweet, because, like, the Power Wash Sim devs, like, you, you might know we worked with them in the past uh, to actually clean an actual alley. And they're a really chill bunch. And I actually really enjoy Power Wash Sim. I've been wanting for an excuse to play it for ages, and they were like, hey, you know, uh, do you want to play it? I believe we're going to be checking out their Back to the Future DLC. I believe that's their latest one. So what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to do a bit of a twofer. Uh, we will finish this. And then we'll, we'll play Power Wash Sim and just kind of wind down for the night. Okay. It'll, uh, it's, I'll probably start at, like, say, 6 in the evening. We'll start a little bit earlier just so we, to make sure we can get everything finished. So it'll be, like, an hour earlier from the time that we start today. It'll be 6 p.m. time in Ireland. I'll, I'll put a little timestamp for it in the Discord, okay? I think that's just a responsible thing to do because, like, you, you know, it, it's already midnight. And there's at least two chapters here. It's taking us five hours to do five chapters. So, I think that's like a fair guess. Um, if the credits will roll. I don't want to work sometimes. I don't know why. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we're going to wrap up there. We will finish this tomorrow. And we'll be checking out some Power Wash Sim as well. So we'll get a bit of a twofer in then. Uh, but thank you for coming, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed the stream.
This this was really fun. Yeah, uh, this game had way more in it than I thought it would. I'm actually really looking forward to finishing it. It's been really enjoyable. Cause I only saw like the first ten minutes of Gab playing it. She uploaded a video on it, and I was like, "Okay, that actually sounds really intriguing." I, I, I like the whole like switching the first person stuff. Like, just I didn't even know that was a thing. Like the bits where like, you're trying to control both characters are just genuinely very stressful, but really well done. Really been enjoying it. How much is this game? I think it was like 20 quid on Steam. It's like close to the same price that like Inside was, and that was like a two hour experience or like a similar style of like gameplay. But yeah, we will we will finish this tomorrow and we'll check out some Power Wash Sim then. Um, I do want to give a heads up for the weekend streams that there will only be one, I think, on Sunday this weekend. I'm probably going to be taking Saturday off. This is a bit of a heads up there. I'll mention it again tomorrow. Don't worry if you forget. So, yeah, so we'll have we'll have another like kind of like late-ish night stream tomorrow. We'll start at six. Time in Ireland. Thank you everyone for coming by tonight. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me see who's still streaming so I can leave you in someone's care. Um, who who is going at this hour? Uh, let me see. We haven't raided Amphibian in forever. Amphibian's really nice. Like, we actually, I don't know if people remember from the, um, from the City Skylines in a Crane, uh, stream and video, but Amphibian was actually sat in a chair, like, right next to me. It was, like, himself and Tubbo were, like, they might, like, just at the same desk. Uh, but go say hey, he's playing some, uh, Project Zomboid. Sounds like a good time. His stream title is, like, the worst possible start, so... Maybe, maybe wish him luck. Yeah, I don't know why. Chat's even died on, like, my, my end card here. I don't know what's going on. Why is chat dead? I've lost you. There we go. Okay, it's back now. Everything just seems to be breaking. Okay, but thanks for coming, folks. I'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll finish this up then. Play some Power Wash Sim 2. Have a lovely night. Take care.